And hello, welcome to this very special edition in episode 22 of Who Lives Who Dice. My name is Humflum the Goblin, uh, otherwise known as <laughs> Unknown NPC, who the party mercilessly killed when they walked through in a forest full of hunting goblins. So really, the joke is on me. Um, happy Halloween, we're doing a little Halloween episode. Still an all episode, not to worry. Um, and instead of my amazing double barrel names, I'm going to let the team introduce themselves, starting with this lovely side. Um, hi, I'm Myla. Um, <laughs> Normally played by Sasha, but apparently today, just just Myla. Um, and, and so yeah, Matt said to describe our costumes a bit. So um, I mean, white hair, mostly white hair. Um, I'm blue. Um, got my definitely a signet ring on a on a string. Um, signet ring on a um, string. Yeah, my little all my little bits. I've also got like oh, there we go. I forgot to put my little. Oh, no. so cute, yeah. um, and I am making everything I come within like a meter of blue. Yes. Um, the, the kitchen is a sight. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till I have to wash all this off in Matt's shower. <laughs> Buddy. <clears throat> I bought my own towel. <laughs> that, actually, I genuinely, genuinely appreciate that. This is, this is amazing. Uh, and, and next to you. Yeah. Uh, hello, my name is D22. Um, and I'm quite worried that my saucepan might fall off within the next few hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it feels like a dramatic, um, like drama school kind of exercise. I'm, I'm having to, you know, you put the books on your head. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. Yeah. yeah. Keep posture. It feels like I'm doing that so constantly. We're going to be in the middle of a really tense <laughs> yeah. character. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't. Just like wreck the mic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, you might, you might admire my um, my beautifully painted crossbow. Um, of course, my steampunk goggles and my cast-off ring, <laughs> inscribed with um, "I love you, Alexi." <laughs> you just can't see that on camera. No, no, convenient. <laughs> uh, and I have to say, your, one of your arrows is almost falling off. So it's it's. Uh, oh no! Oh the, no! That's the, right. the, other the other one. The other one. Oh god! Oh there god! Go. There we go. There we go. Those it's arrows fine. are going to last like five minutes. Yeah, these are not right. going to last long at, at all. Yeah. At Mostly all. out of Matt's sheer frustration. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every time we kill it, it's just going you know, to rip it out. Yeah. Um, but next on the table, we have a uh, wonderful guest. Star. Hello. <laughs> it's me, Professor Zask. Uh, I am, of course, former associate professor of history at the uh, David Drake Archive, um, or uh, otherwise known as the Academy of Pasts, which is uh, ironic because I, of course, have left it in my past. <laughs> well, moving on to better and greater things. I'll show them. Uh, played by. <laughs> Shamani. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anyone sound so underwhelmed yeah, by their own identity. Play by Shamani. It's like, I mean, it's like a can't. footnote in your own, yes. your own history. Side note. Also, guess I'm Shamani, sure, whatever. <laughs> yes. Also that, blah, blah, blah. I look very dashing. I have little gold glasses. I have very green and scaly face. I have, I have a woolly hat. I've got lots of warm things uh, tucked away. Uh, and I've got lots of things <laughs> to say down my top. But... <laughs> It, it's, it looks better than it sounds, so just don't, <laughs> don't worry. I, I've got all yeah, so everything's fine. <clears throat> Thank you. And next. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 hello. Um, Lord Alexei Karstaff of House Karstaff, um, played by the much more charismatic, much less smart David Cox. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm wearing uh, one glove, which is already very warm, <laughs> a bandage, which is somewhat restricting movement. Rolling will be entertaining. Don't make the joke again. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a yoga shirt with some ties. <laughs> it's a yoga shirt. Yeah, it's a yoga shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm wearing black leather tra- You know what? You Stand up. You know what? Oh, I don't know. You I might, you might want to yes. be there. Yes. Out. yes. <laughs> Wait, wait, can I just oh, yeah, go on. Have a feel. Yeah, there is a bulge. Just pixelate the Yeah, I'm going to blur that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah blur, blur it. <laughs> it's too big for TV. Um, and well, this, this yeah. is a sort of like well designed black jacket. It's so dashing. And Thank you've got you. the red eyes. And I've got the, the red, red eyes. eyes. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm just going to go to. I'm going to. I'll enhance that it. Is yeah, not, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's. I, I feel Sorry, like, Jeff. Oh, it's fine. I feel like I need to talk about. So this is um, red duct tape from the boys, lovingly. Uh, a shirt I wore once, fake blood, which is like strawberry jam. A waistcoat, which is now ruined. Um, and this wonderful, wonderful arrowhead, and uh, these bamboo sticks from my girlfriend's garden. 
and uh, you are going to wreck that scenery. I'm going to destroy the scenery. Like these errors aren't going to last long at all. You forgot to mention that the jam is lightly peppered with burnt coffee. Grunch. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. This morning's coffee. This is not dirt. This is this morning's coffee grounds. Recycling. It's important. <laughs> well, it's a special one because it is episode twenty-two as well. So, yep. Think, think. Yep. All, all guy. All those little in jokes finally coming to a head. Is the first episode without Rose? Yeah, well, it's sad. Yep. Rose is. Uh, <laughs> She's not here. No, She's not here. It's alright, it's alright. It's not the last we'll see of her. That's what I'm going to say on that. Oh, oh my wow. god, so, it's a working just... crossbow. I haven't actually tried that before now. That's <laughs> amazing. No, no, it's, it's not loaded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, oh, okay. Right, okay. <laughs> Put on some safety goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Get some Halloween candy. Lollies, sweets, whatever, whatever you call them. Settle in. Let's get on for episode 22 of Who Lives. Food ice. Yeah, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And cut. In the last episode, our friends suffered a tremendous loss, and their friends, their ally, their comrades, Maywe, who fell when triggering a very obvious but nonetheless tempting trap set by the dwarven sorcerer, Sarek Clay Fury, who had been hunting them for somewhat. Despite their best efforts, the party fell afoul with huge tidal waves of snow crashing down, and Maywe attempting to escape found herself losing her life. Her friends, though scattered, managed to regroup and came to find her now cold, still body, carrying it to a nearby shelter in a fallen tower, a few hours hike of where they initially were struck, gave a short service, covering the body and stepping out into the morning light after taking a rest. Stepping out, seeing the two options that lay before them. One, the tall mountain peak and the roads where they could see movement of Frostrum Mine, where Sarek likely lay waiting for them. However, glinting in the morning sun was the reflection of a large bronze metallic structure, which was in fact, or at least what seemed to be, the Titan that Professor Zask had been looking for for so long. After some deliberation, the party decided to go to the Titan to at least see if there would be some aid for the monumental task ahead in avenging their friends. And so now, with the morning rising, and before you step forward onto your journey, is there anything that the party would like to do before we begin this day of travel? Uh, I, 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 I believe we uh, saw... Um there was a body uh, around here, wasn't there? Uh, Outside the tower. I'll have a look, see if it's got anything. Sure, make an investigation it. check. The body was initially found by Myla on her first brief visit. It had been a number of hours and now an overnight sleep, so there is every chance. Ugh, no. Uh, that is a nine. You you look around, and even though, Myla, you're very certain of this, these arrows are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, you're very certain um, where the body was laid. It doesn't appear to be there anymore. Fresh snow had come overnight. No sign of tracks or anything, but for the life of you, you can't seem to find whatever that body was. It's gone. Shit. Why did you need it? Uh, well, uh, there were, there were, there were uh, things. Um, I, I saw one or two uh, evidence that someone had been staying in there. Uh, I, I just I thought there might be something we could use. Were you trying to have a drink? No. 
Uh, n- no, no. Um, it. You're feeding, thinking of feeding. Uh. Yeah, no, we should get some food at some point. Yeah. Um, that would be a good idea. Mm. Yeah. Especially, um, you know, Zask, you seem to get hungry quite a lot. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Yeah. Just, um, yeah, what, sorry? Oh, are we going now? Yes, we, we, we should, uh, <clears throat> we should, uh, we, we should make haste. Um, if we go, yeah, yeah, I have, I have, I have a lot of plans. Um, uh, no need to worry, because I, I, I have special, um, I have a lot of, brought a lot of things with me. I'm very, very well prepared. Mm-hmm. Um, How I'm long just, into a tie turn? What? How long into the tie turn? Um, uh, how, how, how long do I think it'll take us to get you, there? You would estimate, and about a day's, a full day's walk, yes. assuming nothing goes wrong yes. on the way. Yes, we will walk, we'll walk all day. Um, uh, we're, we're, we'll be there before it gets dark. Um, I'll, 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 um, I'll, I, 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 I could start work tonight. I could start work tonight. I could start work straight away. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of assessment. I might need the light. Um, yeah, I could create some lights, and then I just need to see, see what the damage is, because I uh, don't really know the exact state it's in, but don't, don't worry, because there's a lot of, um, I have, I have a lot of, uh, special equipment, and I've, I've been studying a lot, and, um, it's, it's going to be very promising. I have every faith that everything will go completely smoothly and according to plan. Yes. It always does for yes. us. Excellent. Join us, tiny rant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alexi is going to just have a look inside if there's anything they've left over or anything sure. ignored. Yeah. You know what to do. Cool. We're not going to use the same dice. <laughs> Natural one. Ten. Okay, another natural one. Um, looking through, and like you, you did just sleep there, so you know it's not like there was any big changes. Um, <clears throat> but yes, looking looking through. Uh, one moment, please. So there's some tattered bed rolls that sit to the one side. Um, a cracked lantern. There is a small chest there, which appears to be locked, um, which was covered in wax and oils and all bits. A couple of goats, um, sat freshly slaughtered, now frozen in the cold on on a stone table. Um, and there is also a, a long sheathed blade, quite, quite, quite tall, maybe about, I want to say two, two and a half feet long, sitting against the wall. Okay. Slight curve. Uh, I will have a look at the blade. Sure. You, you, you go on, you pick it up. Yep. So you lift it and it looks quite, quite long and heavy. It's quite light. And, you know, you sort of brace for, you know, when you lift up something heavy, it needs a bit more strength. This comes up. Just like that, straight oh. away. Um, yeah, very light, and it's it's a long ornate falchion, um, uh, which you know, very very well balanced and long black obsidian like glass, like slight cracks of red embers through it, and it's warm, warm to the touch, as well. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Take it, like, put the strap over his back. Sure. Um, and have a look at this chest. Uh, you cool. said it's locked. It appears to be locked, yes. Um, c- uh, can a- any, any, anyone a- able to um, maybe uh, do, do, do something with so this? Two sleight of hand, let's go straight in there with his little tiny spindly fingers. Cool. Are you using the the lock pick you bought back in? Yes, please. Cool, sure thing. Uh, so make a roll. Do I add my sleight of hand? Can I uh, sleight of hand, and then I think you get that plus three as well. Sleight of hand is sick as well, so this is going to be great. Oh, wow. So that is a 27. The 27. Without issue, you come in. Scrolls. Piles and piles and piles of scrolls. I look at Alexi for some kind of approval. Yes. Oh, we, oh, yeah, yeah, oh no! Sorry, um, I, I, I didn't. I thought you were asking if you could take them. Yes, yeah, m- marvelous job. Well, well, well done. <laughs> Smiles. Um, very, very, very proud of you. <laughs> A quick count. There's maybe thirty, thirty-five in here. Wow. Tightly bound, all with like a dark black cord around each one, and sealed in a bright orange wax. Mm. Amazing. Do we have time to read the scrolls now? Um, maybe um, if you. Put them in in in, in your um. In, <laughs> y- yes, and we can sort them when this is all over. Done. They are stored away for archive. Excellent. Um. Right. Uh. Cool. And we'll, we'll we'll unless this. Sorry, I just wanted to. So you took all the scrolls out. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um. You also find at the bottom a small silver coin. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Hi. Uh, hold on. Um. 
I would like to look at this in excruciating detail. <laughs> Are you suspicious of me? David? I was about to pick it up as well. I'm suspicious of a single <laughs> solitary so silver my hand coin. Was, my hand was already was floating above it. It's all right. Uh, yeah. Sure. What, what are you trying to surmise? Uh, I, from a glance, as in like I'm not touching it. Okay. Um, not to say the word of the skill I intend to use successfully this time. Uh, I would like to investigate it as much as possible. Sure thing. I I'm will say. Tell the DM's trying to curse you. No, I just I think the coin might be a bit like different. It might have some sort of different symbolism. I mean, the curse thing's obviously the sword. Uh, Jesus Christ, David. Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. You, you you look at the coin, and because you're not touching it, you can't really make out a lot. But it doesn't look like any mainland coin. Um, That's what the I thought. etchings on the outside appear to be in the limited amount, you know, abyssal. Shit. Uh, um, that, that, that's, that's uh, uh, abyssal. Abyssal coin, shiny. Yes, um, lang- <laughs> no, 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 um, l- language of uh, demons. Demon coin? Yes. Is it valuable? I don't, well, it's silver. May I touch it? Uh, I take a big step back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, D22, just you hear the clank as it goes, dink, 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 Okay, dink, the dink. moment you touch it, Uh-oh. the coin goes red, red hot, and suddenly soaks into your finger and starts to like worm its way inside your workings. Ooh. You Alexia, I think it's alive. Okay, and that's it. And it sort of melts and sort of goes inside and it disappears. And you feel the heat dissipate up through your body and then it's gone as quickly as it arrived. Ah, not so bad after all. Uh, I do now it's you, gone. Uh, I, 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 I may have led you astray there. May I set it now? <laughs> uh, We'll, we'll we'll put a pin in that. Okay. And and we'll we'll, we'll come back to it. Mm-hmm. Um, later. Demon coins are good. No. Oh. No 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 no. Uh, very much not. Um, but let's let's get moving, shall we? Yes. What's what's Milo up to during all of this? Oh, Milo is not coming back inside that tower. Fair enough. She'll just be like standing outside. Cool. So we've taken the sword. We've taken the scrolls. We've touched a coin. You're going to put a coin there, I'm going to touch oh. it. You know. My, and Mayway, Mayway's body lays there. Yep. Um, slightly raised with a blanket yep. across. Cool. Very good. You set out, walking towards the Titan. Uh, can I please have a marching order? And I'll go at the front. I'm trying to go at the front, uh, but I've only got little legs. <laughs> Milo's going to sort of like put her arm in front and tend to be like... <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. Um, Milo will sort of like gently step in front of me and be like, I'll, I'll go out the front and look for anything dangerous. <coughs> and uh, I'll, right. I'll deal with anything dangerous. Yes, yes, good. You will deal with the dangerous and you look out for the... Yes, okay. And I'm we'll, at the back. Uh, we're the brains of the operation, eh? Hey, 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 Mr. D22. Mm-hmm. Uh, given the recent events mm-hmm. of Mayway's death, uh, it also, Alexi's eyes have just been red since and have stayed that way. Very good. Oh. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, I guess, yeah, my this is a total aside from Mayway's death, but um, the clover cliver that uh, was wrapped around my finger has started to, like, go further down. Ooh. My other arms like, the vine, the vine is just wrapping Very good. Down. Very nice. Okay. So as the party begins walking, are you walking quickly? Are you walking slowly and stealthily? or I'm walking are you... quite quickly. Unless... Anyone says otherwise. Yeah, I'm just walking exactly how you're walking. <laughs> so you two, are, like, you two are rushing. I feel like Zask. No, but I feel like Zask's quick walking is like our yeah, medium normal. pace. Okay. Yeah, and, <laughs> and if, if Zask looks like getting a little bit too excited, I'll actually will very quickly just uh, no, 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 no. No what? No, we, we're, Use your words. We're, we're going to we're going to take things we're going slowly. To. Take slowly, yes, that's good for you, isn't it? Okay, slowly, yes. Well done, well done. <laughs> Very good. Maya smiles in spite of herself. <laughs> right. Let's go. Okay. All right. Make your way through. Uh, since you two are leading the charge, 
Um, I'll have one of you to make a perception check and one of you to make a d20 roll for the journey, please. You can make a perception check. (laughs) (coughs) Not rolled anything above a 10 since we started. Proud of you. Two. (laughs) Two. (gasps) One moment, please. What? (laughs) What? (laughs) A little hiccup. You sounded like you were dying. <laughs> Just, it's because it, it, ooh, it preceded it. That's why it was like, ooh. <laughs> I got a 25 on perception. You got a 25 on perception. Good to know. All right, I'm making a call now. These were great. The arrows were lovely. No, oh. the arrows You're not supposed to pull them out. Oh. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Who Lives, Who Dies. I'm going to DM now. <laughs> oh, look, I'm back. Oh, uh, God right. damn it. Who dies? It's Matt. <laughs> the day is clear. The skies are open. There is a slight breeze on the wind, and as you begin walking through, that glint disappears, but your eyes are fixated on that spot where you believe the Titan to be. After about three hours of not much happening and walking in what I assume is mostly solemn silence, your eyes catch a small glint of something green in the distance, on like a small rocky outcropping. It's slightly hard to take anything glinting green seriously <laughs> while looking at you, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, mine is going to... Um, um, everyone just... About 100, 120 feet away. Hold up a sec, there's something... And she's gonna like, side-eye back at like, D22, and then like, pull Alexi over and quietly be like, there's something sparkly. <laughs> oh, 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 well, f- first things first, um, well done on the whispering that. Um, 10 out of 10, truly. He would have gone insane. Uh, <laughs> Mother, hurry up, please. We're going to be late. I'm going to need what, you to. What's the hold up? Uh, can, can. Um, one second. I think I see um some interesting herbs yep. over there. Fair enough. We, we, we don't have time to stop for, for interesting herbs. They here. might be useful for if someone got scratched by some metal in the Titan. It'll stop you from getting. Uh, infection. Infection! Okay, you should be allowed 30 seconds to pick herbs before we carry yeah, I, on. Okay, that's, right, that's yes, fine. That's not, uh, yeah, okay, 30 seconds. Well, I, you can all take the time to rest and, and have a good... I'll go, stop. <laughs> and I'm going to go with So her. you two are both going together, are you? Yeah. Okay, this is why I took the arrows out, because I need to reach across. Um, cool. So you both... This isn't really indicative, but we'll just stand in this corner here. Can you both see this okay? Yep. yep. Cool. Just appreciate it. you got a big ramp in the way. Cool. You both walk up, and then out of the outcrop, in the road, it's maybe about like five, ten feet extended out. Feels like some of the, the moving avalanche in the snow has revealed this rock. And what looks like really roughly uncut quartz and gems, but all in a very sort of like in a couple of clumps, just sticking out the ground in a deep green color. Mm. Uh, probably about 20 feet away from you now. I'm just going to use this D4 as like a rough marker. Huh. Uh, Should I go? Well, I'm. Um, and uh, th- this this might be me being overly paranoid, but um, is, is there anything we can do to make sure that it isn't some sort of a beast or other monstrosity that's posing as gemstones? And then someone walks over and goes, oh, and it, nah. I can send Cyril. If he's all right, if, if you're all right with that. Uh, it, he's, it, you know, he's small and quick and he gets out of these things all the time. Okay, if you want, and just straight back. All right. So... Sort of pops off your shoulder, bounds down, just hops across, slowly, crawls up on the rock and just dunk, 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 taps on the gem a little bit. It's, it's buried in there, it's not like just sitting loose, they're like in the ground, but nothing seems to happen. Right, I'm going over. Okay. Uh, well, Alexi goes with us. Cool. So you both approach, and yeah, uh, either of you can make a nature check, or just a general investigation check if you want to try and surmise a little bit more what, what these specifically are. Uh, um, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to have you two both back I would here. do that yeah. because sure. I'm the world's worst druid and very bad at nature. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to roll investigation. <laughs> Go for it. Because it's been real great so far. I believe in you. Come on. I think you can finally roll above a 10. I, I, I did! Hey. An 11. 19. Oh, well done. Well done. Hey, so the 19, <laughs> this is rough, raw emerald, seemingly revealed by the avalanche that has taken place that huh? scattered all the rocks and everything else away. Mm. With a bit of tools or something, you could probably remove this with a little bit of time as well. 
Should we get the others over? See yes, um, yeah, that, that, that's, um, uh, do you, yes, what's taking so long? Hurry up. We found something shiny. Shiny? Yep. We found emerald. Emerald? It starts to sprint over. <laughs> 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 I'm just about to like, he's like 50 feet back. It's like, oh, it looks like emerald. He's just suddenly that emerald. <laughs> <laughs> emerald. <laughs> So you both you both come on down and yeah you're all mm-hmm. looking at this clump of emerald about the size of a a bowling ball in diameter on the back of that. Uh, it would it, it would take some uh, uh, excavating. It is very shiny. Yes, and worth lots of money probably. I could make another necklace. Has taken us more than thirty seconds. We had an agreement. This is a very good point. The Titan is waiting for us. He's waiting. The Titan is. The Titan is waiting. The Titan is waiting. Titan is worth a hundred gems. I, I found in my line of work uh, a great deal of focus is very important. You have to you have to be deadly focused on on your particular subject area. And you know, I, I know that for some people this can be hard to um, oh, I'm to get their minds. This. Uh, I don't particularly care about gems, um, but you normally do. I do care about gems. Before I heard about titans. Okay. And well, quite, quite frankly, I'm rich enough. So, are you? Oh yes. Oh, do you fund research at all? Grants, something like that? Oh, I, I, I am research. That doesn't make sense. Oh, it, 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 I, I, I invented a school of magic. What about history, though? Like, oh, on. I know a lot about that as well. Frivoling, yes. no, no, no. Yes. no, no. no his, research of history yes. everywhere. We're, we're, history, yes. We'll, um, we'll talk about about bit uh, of a pursuit into legal research funding. Uh, history, history, you know, history, okay. history, you know, okay. history. Actually, we Both do you, fund a lot of. Let's not. Okay. We should fund research. It's, it's quite... Another okay. time. Today is... Today is... Not the day. A day for going to a titan. Yes. Right, yes. Absolutely right. Yes. Onwards! Um, um, Dee, do you want to come yeah. up front with me? Yeah, sure. Um, cool. Okay. So, we're leaving it alone? Yep. Can we put some kind of... Uh, Survey marker. I'm going to leave. Um, I'm going to leave D2 there. Woo. You're going to leave D2 there. Yeah. D2. Okay. Then you stay and guard the gems for us. We, Let me double check. We, the we won't be coming back. Why not? Because once we have the Titan, mm-hmm. we're going to kill Sarek. We will come back this way because we've got to get Mayway. Exactly. One Two birds, one stone. Might be some time before we're here. Well, then he'll be able to find it. It'll also help us probably find Mateway if anything went really, really wrong. All right. Okay. Yeah, you can you can absolutely leave your leave your homunculus there if you want, but that's up to you. Well, does it go out of range if I leave him too far away? She needs a hug. But terrible idea. <laughs> no, but you don't have any way to communicate. You don't have a telepathic connection with with the, at the range at the distance you'll you'll be going. Do I get a constant marker of them? You do not, no. Hmm. There's no benefit of leaving him there then, I think. Guarding the garden. It's D2, he's not going to do anything. <laughs> D2 isn't very, isn't very uh, overpowered, if I'm honest. He's very underpowered. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I'm just going to stroke, I'm just going to stroke the gem, <laughs> second glance it, and, and yeah, and keep going. Cool. Yeah. Good as gold. I have locatory magic. I find it again if you particularly, particularly want. You are a fascinating person. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, uh, it's a you, shame that more people are not so Let's go. I'll talk to you later. Let's yes. leave it too. Gotcha. Um, while they're moving on, Milo would like to have a chat with, with D22. Mm-hmm. Hello. Um, hey, um... You... This this Titan. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do with it? Hmm. Nothing particularly amazing or demanding. Ideally, I'd like to become it. You want to become the Titan. I want to be a Titan. Oh, so you mean you want to build more of yourself so that you become as big as a Titan? Yes. Right. Okay. Not that you want to sort of stop being you and become a Titan instead. Hmm, if my brain and my mind and my good moral compass can be moved to a titan, I would move with it. But How is that moral compass doing? Better than ever, actually. Thank you for asking. Mm-hmm. That's a very kind, empathetic <laughs> question. Well done. Uh, 
But yes, do you think it's a grand goal? Would you say it's perhaps, finding word, naive that I want to become a titan? I mean, you've you sort of fixed lots of bits of yourself before, right? I have, and uh, you can see how impressive I look as a result. Exactly, so I think if you wanted to just keep making yourself bigger and bigger, that's presumably fine. Fantastic. I guess I just want to make sure that we don't lose you. No, I will still remain the same. Everything will be absolutely fine. My charming personality and friendly social skills and bargaining prowess will maintain optimum level. But you've already changed quite a lot. I have, but I have been evolving. For the better? I think so. Depending on how you see it, I am stealing less and killing less, but apparently these are good things. Yeah. I mean, I think you're stealing less at the moment because there's just nothing to steal out here. There's no one else around. Yes. Um, <laughs> Alexi also seemed very disappointed when I tore that crystal off that fellow's skull. That, yes, that was, I would say, unwise. You know when previously we talked about um, having short-term loss for long-term material gain? Yes. And you get better things at the end? Mm -hmm. I think that was one of those times, and now we don't have the long-term gain. Right. But long-term gain requires patience, which can be frustrating. Yes, yes, it can. Um, but, you know, practice makes these things easier. Mm. I must practice patience as my next project. Once I become a titan and rule everyone. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha, that was a joke. Was it? <laughs> a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> would, you, would you want to rule everyone? Hmm. Ruling people is not in my design. If anything, I like to free people. But I do want to be strong and powerful and respected and feared by all. Yeah, I think that's that's possibly more achievable. Um, and have lots of money. Yes. Yeah, and sure. friends. Some of those things might be incompatible. Um, I tend to find, you know, the people with power don't have friends so much as people who just tell them that they're right all the time. Ah, but you can buy happiness. <laughs> um... I will buy friends. If you leave me, I buy more. Okay, you know how Alexi's really, really rich? Yeah. How happy do you think he is? Hmm. He strikes me as someone who's pretty angry quite frequently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does Alexi hear this? <laughs> Are you listening to this? I'm trying to have a conversation with you, so... Uh, <laughs> Good luck ignoring that! You know what, I will say he catches a little bit and there is a... You, Mila would certainly catch that that comes with a very heavy, <laughs> tired sigh. Yeah. 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 But I think he is quite fond of me anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, but what I mean is... is Once that I'm a titan, I can order him around more too. That would be quite, quite entertaining. Um, but I, I just want to make sure that you don't go finding these things mm -hmm. and thinking that they're going to make everything really great and better. And then when you get them, you realize that actually they don't and it wasn't what you wanted all along. I am pretty confident that once I find a Titan, I'll be happy forever and nothing will ever go wrong. I really hope that's the case. I do. But <clears throat> I don't think it will be. Some people say that the pursuit of the journey is better than the end goal. I think that's nonsense. <laughs> I don't really know. Either way, I've never really been on a long journey where I've achieved anything at the end of it. Um, so I, I couldn't say either way. Um, I just don't want you to, I don't want you to be at all disappointed. There's more empathy. I like it. I don't want you to be disappointed that I'm disappointed. <laughs> Lots of empathy going all around. Growth. <laughs> Alright, well, just be careful. I, I just don't want to see you get your feelings hurt. 
Thank you. That's all right. While this is going on. <laughs> sure. Because I presume Sask is telling Alexi. And the thing about research funding is that, <laughs> that, that, that we don't have time to do very long grant applications. I believe you should familiarize yourself with the research, approach someone like myself who has a very ambitious idea, uh, and then simply provide the money. Professor, yes. kindly, um, uh, we're, we're on a mountain. I, I, I do not believe this is the most um, apt avenue for you to uh, uh, pursue sponsorship. From me. Right, yeah, all right, yes. Also, no, I, focus, I, I, focus. I've lost my sword, so, you know. I've, you had a sword? Uh, I, I, I had a rapier, but a, a, a woman took it from me. You um, won't need that anymore, it's all right, we'll have a titan. Yeah, well, actually, um, you, I, you, you seem to be able to have a sort of a, a minute grasp on the arcane. I, I'm not, not really my, uh, my interest, uh, unless you want some minor... I, uh, I can make it light. If, if we reach there by nightfall, oh. I shall cast light. We shall um, we shall well, be able to well, see. I was, I was going to say, do you have any notion of how to I, I identify this? What is it? It's a falchion. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. Then. Why are you asking me to so. identify it? Because I don't know what it is, but it seems to be obsidian. All right, give it here. It's quite big. <laughs> it's quite large. Yeah. Two, three feet? <laughs> two, two and a half feet long. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's large and it's okay, long. No, take also, it back. Take it back again. It's not, it's not, no, okay. You just hold it. <laughs> you said it's um a lot lighter. Like, give me a comparison. Is like it? it'd be it'd be maybe slightly heavier than your rapier. Oh, okay. Yes. It's a very for its size, it's surprisingly light. Interesting. And like swoosh it about, yeah. Could one argue it's a dex weapon? One could argue. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll hold right. it then. Okay, you um, you do that. Also, when we get to the Titan, uh, do, do, do the two of you wish to um, examine him? Milo and I will stand guard. No, yes, well, no, obviously you won't be any use. Yes, we should. Um, yeah, Mister Mister D Twenty Two and I shall, uh, shall investigate. Although, you know, I must say, Mister um, what was your name again? Alexi. Mister Alexi, I must say, you are wiser than I gave you credit for, and I, I think your handling of the whole um, situation was, was in fact very admirable. Uh, you, you, you have the focus, you have the, the, uh, the broadness of mind to focus on the bigger picture, how yes, uh, this it, uh, it, Titan will, will help you achieve your goals, rather than this sort of petty, violent revenge, oh, I must Oh, oh no, no, I, 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 really, I really am quite taken with Raid right now, which is, um, uh, point Myla. Yeah. Um, how are they? Oh, yeah. No? They've been like oh. that for a while. Oh, shit. Were they not like that before? Uh, I, 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 have, a, I have a slight condition. Oh, okay, well, I'll just, it's fine. <coughs> when, um, when he gets very... It, 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 mm. Is when... it contagious? No. No. Hmm. Okay. I don't <coughs> think so. Um, well, we're at it. Um, yes. You don't... You don't seem too much like the touchy feely type, but just I wouldn't I wouldn't touch me. I, if I were you. I don't know what you're insinuating, uh, young lady, because I have been a respected professor, associate professor, for many, many years. Uh, never... Professor, I'm going to ask you to focus. <laughs> ah yes, right. Yes. <clears throat> I'm casting identify over sure. the course of a minute. Okay. <laughs> 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 Several times, Alex. Yes, right. No, no, uh, spell. Yes, yes, spell. Yes, yes, spell. Yes, I remember. Sword. 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 <laughs> cool. I have a short sword and it's terrible. <laughs> I will send you. I'll send you the stats. Charmony. Um, but I also need to. Off you. Oh. You're not the spell. No, but I want the sword. Ooh. Hello. Yeah, I'm whispering. Oh, you're whispering. All oh, right. You want some blueberries? Um. I'm good for now, well. thanks. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. Try well. All right. Yeah, it's fun. No, it's fun. Fun to mouth. Oh, okay. Oh, straight on the head. Straight. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> for a second, I thought you got it in the hair. I mean, you hit the hair. <laughs> wasn't sure if it would. You know. It's right. It sort of ricocheted off the hair. Yeah. Oh, we wow. squashed into the carpet soon. So. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Along with the eight thousand grapes that are down there. True. I haven't thrown fruit at Matt in a while. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I do plan to shoot him before the stream is over, yeah. along with Zero. I don't really know. Uh, Thank you, regular 
as you want. Right. So it, is it usable? Oh, no, 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 none of that. No, this is uh, um, very annoying and cursed. You don't want that. Cursed in what sense? It is a sort of, oh, God, I'm a kind of sword, I'm cursed. Oh. Uh, honestly, bit of familiarity with curses, it, 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 it's, it's really quite fine. Just sort of, just sort of, do you feel, right, right, right. When you touch it, do yes. you feel a little bit, a little bit like you want to sort of punch someone? You feel like you want to punch someone. I think Alexi feels like he wants to punch someone on a fairly regular basis. I'm less of a punch, it... more of a stab. But yeah. Yeah. Well, the stab, yeah. the longer you hold uh, that, the you, more... You could attune to it and find out. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So you, so just to be clear, you're taking oh, a short rest? Oh, no, I, I, it's going to take you a full hour to attune to the weapon. I will, I'm not going to take the we short time rest. We'll probably do it during the cool. rest sure. at the end of the day. But yeah, cool. but you, you fully, need to attune to That is fully the attention. Cool. What, what have you got there? A sword. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it's remarkably well weighted. I think I could use it with about as much proficiency as I could my rapier. It's very cursed. <clears throat> it, it's anyway, cursed. onwards. Can I do an arcana what? check on it? Apparently, it just makes me angry. I I, I don't feel. It's the you first don't need time. Any more this first time as an artificer, well, twenty-two episodes. I'm doing an arcana check. <laughs> <laughs> no. Honestly. Really? Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. And who better to do it for than my buddy? Oh, beloved. Hey. Yeah. Are we ready? Wow, 25. 25. Yeah, 18 plus a 7. Okay. Yeah, sure, what's that? Uh, okay, um, and what are we all talking about now? Um, well, um, the fact that, oh, uh, this is a thing that Myla would have heard Alexi say mm -hmm. that when Zask and D22 are examining the Titan, Alexi and Myla will stand guard. Make sure no one sneaks up on them all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't think we're going to be much use otherwise, so... Oh, so. yes, well, mm -hmm. you know, um... I, I very much know when I'm not, uh, required. Do you think we're going to need to... Use it to punch a hole in a mountain, kill a very angry dwarf that's missing a hand? Yes. Uh, no, let's is, see. It, is it like yes. a... Well, I, I can report that our friend Zask is not lying too much about this sword. Right. It feels, uh, slightly, to use your word, demonic, and it makes my hand feel slightly heavy and drawn to it. Angry, it'll make, it'll make your hand angry. Uh, the coin from earlier wants to push it, it pushes, pushes way back into, my, into the hand. It, I don't think it's a good one, Alexi. Right, um... However, we are about to fight a battle in which we are hopelessly both outnumbered, uh, outclassed. It'll do a whole bunch of extra damage for you. Well, lovely, that's what I'm after. D22 just steps back from the sword, slightly shook. I'll keep it sheathed in your presence. Alexi? Yes? If we think that the sword is a bad idea... Yes. ...and we tell you to get rid of it... Yes. ...would you? Are you telling me to do it? Not right now. I mean in the future. If you tell me that I should get rid of it, then I will. I don't think any of us need any more anger right now. But we should keep going. Yes. I haven't stopped. <laughs> We've been walking this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I mean, Zask has. The rest of us are just taking like, a snap every yeah, The like, conversation is progressing getting louder stop? and louder. <laughs> I think it's a cursed fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't right stop I was casting Identify, by the way. I was walking, casting, talking. All aloud. <laughs> So yeah, we keep on the march. Okay. Not have time to waste, everyone. Come on, cool. less of this. Fight. Where is the blade on your person? Um, he's put it back in its sheath, and it's just on his back. You do feel a hot prickling sensation creeping down the back of your spine. Just a okay. little bit. Cool. Oh wow, well, we're gonna get badass, Alexi. Lovely. Devil warrior, Alexi. Cool. Uh, two more rolls, please. Zask and D twenty two. I need a perception check, and I need a roll for events. Thank cool. you. Been running well today. You've said it now. I can't remember what I'm good at or not. Even though, not too bad. 18. 18? Yeah. For perception. Oh, in that case. <laughs> Three. Three! Okay! <laughs> that went the right way. Yes? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> you start to crest a hill, 
and you're now coming down to into a small gully, the mountain, and even now in the later sun is the sun is, is the the sun is the sun coming behind the mountain. Um, slowly. Still plenty of light to make out. You've still got maybe two, three and change hours to go. Um, you can see little glints of bronze up on the horizon. Make a make another perception check for me, please. Nice. Nineteen. Nineteen? Plus anything? Nineteen. Nineteen, cool. Um, you, you also swap maybe just a little bit of movement. Oh. Some of the glints seem to be moving just a little bit up there. We should speed up. We should speed up. Come on, then. As you begin walking down and start speeding up, a herd of white deer come trampling across the landscape. Just trotting. Don't seem to be spooked or anything. Just sort of come running in. And as a group, sort of stop. About nine at a quick glance. How far away? 70 feet. Alexi, would you like one? Yes. <laughs> You shoot it. Yeah. Okay, make, it, make an attack roll. Gosh. This were a folk tale, this would be a very bad idea. The rumblies. Oh, wow. So I got a 19. I think I get a bonus as well. That 19 absolutely hits. Great. <laughs> you shoot. <laughs> Immediately collapses on the ground with a mighty thud. The rest of them quick, up and away, galloping into the distance. Movement dash on it. Okay. Zosh, perhaps we could carry on. Keep looking forward. Okay. Uh, to the... I, I, I thought I saw. Why did you just shoot? I, I thought I just saw you? something. I was just checking my bird uh, working. Yep. We cool. can carry on so you, I'm this very way. hungry. You're very hungry. Yeah. We're about to start taking serious problems. You sprint up. Uh, just, just make a general athletics check for me, just to see how quick you are. Eighteen. Eighteen. You 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 make it quick, and I think yeah. about five feet out just before you get there. Whoa. Um, have you got a dare or anything for me, sorry, Sasha? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, hang on, where's my also it helps yeah. at all. My feet would be seven. My movement would be seventy. Understood. Feet. Understood. Lying on the ground just outside. As you get there, your feet tremor for just a moment. God damn, son what? of a bitch. <laughs> You feel the ground rumble. Yeah. Now, because you roll quite highly, um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Oh, dear. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm just going to move that. That was really cool, by the way. Do I have all this? Right. Where's Rose's prison? Um, <laughs> nine. Nine? Nine. Cool. You were immediately flung, flung to the air and knocked prone as <laughs> this oh, huge no. creature comes out with the deer in its jaws, <laughs> biting and snarling and snatching. You were knocked back 10 <laughs> oh, feet. No. On your back, um, I need you to please take. Uh, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage up from full damage, and you are not prone. Um, I need you to roll initiative, please, Alexi. Um, as this giant creature is suddenly snacking. Um, cool. Matt. Yes. Have I seen Fuck one of these before? You absolutely recognise this. <laughs> I did what's happening, but I just stopped. <laughs> she was just glaring at that mini. Just like, no. Uh, what'd you get? Five. You got a five. Yeah. Well then. Rolling very bad. Oh wow, well, he's doing really trains your vision. Oh, cool. The sharpness. <laughs> cool. Right, landing on your back. Um, you still missed out just a bit. Um, at this point, this creature is sitting there snacking drips of blood from the still crying deer dripping down on top of you. Um, at this point, doesn't seem to be paying much attention to you, but you feel like the steam rising off it as like the plates go in and out, and it's still slightly buried in the ground, towering over you, snacking. That's its turn. Okay. What would you like to do? Um, it, I saw it come out of the snow. It burst out of the ground, ambushing the deer that you had just shot, and is now just in the air, chomping it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I can see that it's steaming. Steam is rising off it. Okay, yes. cool. I'm gonna begin moving back to my friends. Cool. Um, and I am going to draw my longbow and hold my action to fire an arrow at it if it comes at me. If it starts to come yeah. closer towards you. Cool. Uh, as you three have not engaged yet, I'm not gonna ask oh. unless you want to engage. Uh, how far away are we? You are still, um, you are. 14, 14 times 3, uh, let's see, 28, 42. Um, so I ran 70 feet up to it. Yeah. And I've been not, I was 5 feet like away, but not feet. by 10, so I must be 55 feet between me and that. Uh, let's run it, let's call it 60, you're about 60, 65 feet distance at this at this point. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Myla's going to run like about say ten or fifteen feet forwards. Cool. Um, sorry, are you crawling back prone? Oh no, up and run. You're up and run. Okay. Yeah. Half your movement. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Get about, gets about there. And then she's going to just stop. Yeah. And then fall to her knees. Cool. And just frozen. Great stuff. Cool. You've readied your action. Yep. Cool. D twenty two. Zask, anything you want to do? Or are you sitting back and watching? Um, D22 is just going to, because I think we've had a long rest, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just going to fire up the flamethrower, just in case. So you just, just got it up and ready? Yeah, I'll, I'll just cool. and just go, Good as gold. Go. Zask, anything you want to do, be ready? Um, I shall cast guidance on D22. Cool, great stuff. Um, right, back to the top of initiative. This creature, it's got like this sort of like weird like cobra flaps on the side, sort of flick out a little bit as it sort of detects some other sort of movement or something, finishes the dare for a moment. Um, Takes one look at you. <laughs> Bears itself back into the ground. Yes. That was a great move for the music. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was a bit slow there. Cutting that, but that's fine. And as quickly as it appeared, it's gone. And nothing can really be heard except for the heavy breathing of Myla. Uh, Alexi will sort of turn around uh, as if he's kind of like going to say something to the rest of the party and then just see Myla and sprint over and just kind of like slide until he's on his knees in front of her. Uh, what, 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 um, Myla, what, 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 what's, hey, hey, hi. Hey. What? Um, Oh, we should, um... Um, we should get on probably some rock or something, but... Oh! What... Gets on rock. What... Uh, yeah. As quickly I... as it stopped once again, deck saving through. Please, Myla. Oh, okay. Uh, me as well. I'm right next to you. Uh, yes, you are. Both of you. Thank you. I'm on a rock. 16? 16. <laughs> yeah, good move. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> 20. Dirty. 30, 20. Okay. <laughs> Once again, the ground rumbles, and this time coming out um, from beneath you, Milo, you feel yourself being picked up and clenched in the jaws of this creature. Um, I'm going to get you to make one more strength saving throw, please, as a reaction to try and break yourself out. Sixteen. Thirteen. It came out, a little bit of snow. You managed to just pry yourself out. You fall to the ground, landing prone on your back, taking... Still taking uh, math. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning, full damage as you fall to the ground, and land prone on your back. The creature standing over both of you. Um, Alexa, you stand there watching this as you see Milo be ripped up and then dropped again immediately. The creature bearing down <laughs> on top of both of you at this point, with your two allies on the rock standing back. Cool. Um, Do you want to engage? Or? Um, Alexi is going to look up at D22, knowing he's got some ball arranged weaponry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you're going to cover us. Uh, yes, sir. And this will go so badly, but it's what he would do. He is going to try and pick up Myla and run. Okay. I need you all to please roll initiative. After you, please. Uh, Milo, I need you to disadvantage, Oh, yeah, please. wowza. Cool. 25 to 20. Nat 20, 23. 23, D22. Great start. 20 to 15. Uh, it's, uh, 18. Was it disadvantage? Yeah, I rolled 16s both times. Okay. Nice! <laughs> uh, cool. 14 for me. 14. Dask? 6. Okay. D22, you're up first. All right, how far away am I? Uh, you are at this point. I'm gonna say about forty feet away. From forty feet, then I'm gonna uh, I'm going firebolt, please. So yeah, my um, arrow starts to glow. Go for it. An orange. You have seen that it's steaming, though. No. Oh, oh sorry. I thought you did. No. Does that make? That? Go for it. I've done it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I genuinely thought you did see that. Sorry. Well, that's okay. Not a problem. Uh, okay. Bugger my ass. That's six plus seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. You you still slightly getting up on the rock and a bit caught out with what happened. The bolt goes wide, missing it. Cool. 
uh, panic bonus action as I'm as I'm still scrambling around to try and, to try and get my pick up another arrow. I just uh, freeze flame thrower, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, can I Eldritch, double check what the range on that is? Oh, it's cannon flame thrower. Uh, I believe it's only 15 feet, in fact, cool. so I can't do it. You can get closer if you want. Yeah, may I? Yeah, absolutely. You've got your movement. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Cool. Do Trotting. Get, to that. get back to there and knock it out. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, if you want to if you want to go uh, for it, you can go it. for it. Fantastic. Uh, that would be two D8s. Where are my D8s? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Cool. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Yeah, no problem. Um, there we go. I'll be. I'll. Okay. Are you aiming it specifically to only get the creature? Uh, yeah, I'm finding upwards towards his little face. Okay. Cool. 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 So you don't need to make a save then, uh, Myla. Oh, good. oh, nice. So we got um, fifteen. Cool. Fifteen. Yeah. You come in, sliding in, knowing your fireball works. Take careful aim. Shoot straight up. The fire washes woof, all over its body. Nothing happens. Uh oh. It turns and snaps its head at you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Myla, lying on the ground, being dropped. Feel pain and like. Bites and pinces every part of your body. Looking up, the creature on one side, Alexi looking down, concerned at the other. What happens next? Uh, Myla is just lying, staring up at the sky, just like. <sighs> That's it. Cool, great stuff. Uh, Alexi, you're up. Seeing that she's basically catatonic, Alexi is going to pick Myla up and run for D22 and cool. ask. Um, Myla, given your state, are you allowing yourself to be picked up or are you just dead weight? Uh, oh, she, I like, I mean, she's definitely not going to assist. No. Um, no, she is like, she is basically catatonic. Cool. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to need to make a strength a strength check. Just not a high DC, but just because it's like picking up something quite heavy. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, natural 20. Natural 20. Nice. Yeah. Straight yeah. up, yeah. scoop yeah. up. I'm so happy Straight up, this. scooped with one arm <laughs> over the shoulder. Uh, cool. And you're going to make a move. Uh, yes. Yep, which way would you like to go? Uh, towards Zask, towards the rocks there. Um, would it be my action to pick Myla up? Yes. Okay, yeah, uh, Alexa will voluntarily take the attack of opportunity cool. then. Well, not voluntarily, I can't not take it. So half movement with that, even the natural 20, still gonna be 20 foot of movement. Um, it is gonna get an attack of opportunity against you. Yep. Uh, natural 20. I'm Straight really on the back. Sorry. No, it, it, Makes a lot of sense. Oh, I apologize. Oh, it's time to kill off Myla and Alexi in this episode. <laughs> How much health do you have, Alexi? <sighs> maximum That's or? Good question. Maximum. What is your max HP? Fifty-six. How much HP do you currently have? Forty-eight. You go down. What? Fuck me. Down, you... down, and out. Just not dead. Yeah, okay. Not dead. You are unconscious on the ground. Okay, I'm you at drop least spilling to get Myla with, with your natural twin with Myla up on the rock, seemingly at least for now out of danger. Uh, you, are, yeah. Uh, it was it was three d ten doubled to six d ten. Oh my word! Oh, okay. Right. Yes, it was a natural twenty that did it. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately, it sort of snakes and quack, catches you right in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Straight you, down you the back. You feel a small chunk coming out of you. You land mm. on the ground. Cool. Uh, it's now its turn. Cool. Turns to face, seeing you go down in an opportune moment. Um, you know what? Good enough. We can just deal with that later. <laughs> cool. It's coming over to try and grab you, um, Alexi. Uh, D22, I'll give you an attack of opportunity as it comes past. Okay, amazing. So, um, I am going to. Is this my main, my main action go, yeah? Or, do, or is attack of opportunity different now? Do I rogue something specific? Uh, you just be a melee attack to try and get a heads off if you want. Perfect, cool. I'm going to... With your spanner or something, for example. Yeah, let's do that. Great. I'll throw a spanner. Great idea. Yeah. Cool. Make an attack roll. Throw my wrench at him. Wrench it up, baby. Yep. Oh dear, that's a three. Uh, yeah, three misses. You whiff it completely. <laughs> cool. Cool. 
Great stuff. Um, all right. It picks you up, but given the rocky terrain, it can't burrow yet, so it's going to grab you. It's going to be half moving to come back. It's got you on its jaws. Groovy. Cool. That's its turn at this point. Zask. You've seen Elixir go down. Milo is more or less catatonic on the side as well. D22 doesn't seem to be having any effect on it. I am yep. going to wave my cane at, um, uh, at Mr. Alexi and uh, cast Healing Word. Am I within 60 feet? You are absolutely within yes. 60 feet. I'm going to cast Healing Word. Cool. Um, which shall deliver unto thee Mr. Alexi 6. Thank you. You, you, you awake, lying prone, being carried, and then realize you're in the monster's jaws at its slowly <laughs> backing away, making eye contact with D22 and Zask. Okay, cool. Uh, Zask, anything else you would like to do? You still got your full action and your movement. How far away is D22 from me? 15 feet, if that. I'm going to just move over to D22. Sure. Left or right? The other side, the, the safe side. The safe side. <laughs> the good side. The human shield side. Yes. Cool. Right, right. right top of the initiative. G twenty two. You're up. Uh, Milo on deck. Amazing. Can I um, can I cast shield? That's a reaction. So no. If it attempts to hit you, that would put your AC up. How close is everyone near, near to me now? If I cast a massive spell, it's going to take you out, to ask, isn't it? As well. Uh, I'm the other side of you, though. If it's an area effect spell, then yes, and Alexi would also get hit. Yeah, you'd Ooh, yeah, he's in the mouth, sure. isn't he? Yeah. I don't want to. Right, I'm. I'm not going to kill Alexi. Yeah, I have six <laughs> hit points. <laughs> because I definitely. Thank you will. for those, by the way. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Um, like, I just got a costume. I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm gonna cast uh, fire bolt again, please. Fire, I'm gonna go for a fire bolt and try and hit this time. Sure thing. At the head. So, come on, let's roll better this time. Oh, 15. 15. Yeah. 15 just hits. Yes. Arcane Fire comes up, smacks it in the face, glances off. Nothing happens. Flame throw didn't work either. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, in which case, in my bonus action, can I. Um, I'm going to take down my Eldritch Cannon or Flame Throw. I'm going to reset my Eldritch Cannon. That's okay. Go for it. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. You can't use it on this turn, but on the next turn, that's completely yep. fine. Milo. So, so, so sorry, just to clarify, I'm going to change it. Change, I'm going to try and change it to a healing cannon. Oh, to healing cannon. Yes, I'm going to change it to a healing cool, cannon. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Healing cannon, completely fine. Understood. Right. All right. That's for you, brother. Milo. Uh, now that this thing's kind of backing away a bit, Milo's going to kind of go and like look up, um, see it, and then just reach out her hand and, in a voice that doesn't sound entirely like her own, just go, stop. Um, and cast slow. Okay. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Uh, what does the save I need to make on that, please? Uh, wisdom <clears throat> DC 16. DC 16. That was really cool, by the way. <laughs> All right. Don't do it again. That lessens the good. Okay, it's a straight roll on the table for everyone. That's cocked. Um, it's not a very flat surface. Let's do it. Just, I can see what it was. Just do it on your thing, man. That's cocked. So like, like, uh, <laughs> that's that's it's, it's a groovy. tense moment. 14. It fails. And suddenly you, you watch this creature that was so like quick and, and moving and looking around is now slowly unable to really make sense. You feel the grip not loosen on you, Alexi, but still you, f you feel yourself able to push through a little bit more. Doesn't so affect me. Do though. you need me to tell you what that does? Uh, no, no, I know, I know the slow spell very well. Thank you. <laughs> cool. It's almost like he's a fan of it. It's a good spell. It's a great spell. Um, and... Yeah. Um, she's going to get up and start... If, well, like, yeah, she's up for it. Is she up or is she sort of prone? Um, you were you were drop, drop right. prone, so yeah. you would need to use half movement to get up. So she's going to use her movement to get up, and she's just going to start walking slowly towards it, still with kind of her hand out, looking... Kind of dead behind the eyes. Cool. Wisdom saving throw, please. Yep, that's fair. Ooh, that bounced off another 16 and it's a three plus... You get up and Wait. Hands, oh, sorry. Three plus eight. Eleven. You get up, but you don't approach. Oh, uh... B -b -b yeah, cool, fine. Yeah, cool. A little bit dead, but still a little bit that. Yep, Fairer. yep, that's fair. Alexi, creature is slowed. Yep. 
What would you like to do? Well, it's now or never. I am going to try and get myself out of its jaws. Go for it. Uh, uh, we're going to do an opposed strength check. <coughs> Go on, Lex. Yeah. Oh, I have no strength, so... I don't, I don't know another way that the you creature can... also because it's slow. I'm going to say disadvantage as it can't like. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying down. to think if there's. I don't think there is another way that it, it's just trying to hold himself. Let's out. find out. Shit. Oh, oh David, no. Flip it. Yep. What'd you roll? The natural one. <sighs> Even with how slow it is, and you can feel the jaw undulating around you a little bit, you are unable to pry yourself away. You still have your movement, technically, and a bonus action. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can do. That's the thing. This is bad. No. Nope. Nope. No, there's nothing I can do. Nothing else you do. Cool. Yep. All right. Well, because it is still slowed. Cool. All right, it's going to use all of its so much movement. To get back away a little bit. Um, um, don't take it. Sorry. You, you, yeah, that's okay. Don't take a Lexi. How many feet away from it am I? This one, one, two, three, four, seven, thirty-five feet. Cool. Uh, nope, not with that. A natural two. It's not going to hit you. <laughs> Attempts to make a bite. Can't get its feet, its jaws down enough. And because it's slowed, that's all it's got. Half movement, either an action or a bonus action, and no, you don't know that other part. Cool, uh, that's its turn. Zask. Professor, you're up. Oh, it also makes a wisdom saving throw at the end of its turn, which it fails. I'm going to um, touch d22. <laughs> no. See, I told you not to touch not me. The, yeah, not the <laughs> time, all right? That's a good Zask. point, actually. <laughs> A lot of touch spells going on here. <laughs> ah. um, and cast Warding Bond. Okay. Can you tell me what that does, please? The um, material component is supposed to be expensive rings wearing. Do I need to... What, what are your, what's your ruling Have on you the material? Have you got an arcane focus? Does it, does it consume the material? Mm, then yeah. no, I'm quite happy with your cane to be an arcane focus in that. That's, okay. that's fine, you don't oh. need that. Oh, good. Okay, great. Um, spell wards will increase you touch and creates a mystic connection between you and the target until the spell's end. As long as... D22 is within 60 feet of me. Mm -hmm. He gains a plus one bonus to AC and saving throws. Cool. Oh, sorry. Lost it. Um, uh, sorry, one sec. Just That's okay. Reloading my page. It's very intense music. Plus one AC. And has resistance to all damage. Okay. So but every time D22 takes damage, so do I. Same amount. Same amount. So D22, you feel a small green claw on the back. And suddenly, despite the heaviness in your arm from whatever that was earlier you picked up in the day, you suddenly feel energized, your posture adjusts itself, your plates feel thicker, you feel your mind sharpen mm. a little bit, and you just feel a little bit closer to your little buddy. <laughs> so you get a plus one AC, a plus one bonus on all saving rolls, and um, all damage is half damage. Wow, however, so, so ha however, whatever damage you take will also be taken by his He doesn't ask. know that. Yeah, you don't know that. Cool. Great I'm stuff. I'm also going to scream, which is just sort of a very unpleasant koboldy scream. No, we need to hear that. this, please. <laughs> Love it. <Yeah>, thank you. <laughs> that I think you heard that in the very first battle where mm -hmm. we met. I believe I did it there. Um, it's Draconic Cry. Um, as long as the worm thing can hear me... Um, Oh no, I have to be within 10 feet of it. Scratch that. Scratch that. Cool, I great stuff. Feet of it. I All don't right. want to be within 10 feet of it, but I would like to use my movement to get back on the rock and away from it, but I have to remain within 6 feet of yeah, D22. Yeah, cool, top of initiative, D22, you're up. <sighs> um, can I clarify, Alexi, the, the creature has not got his teeth into Alexi's body, has he? <laughs> not, not, not as such, no, but like it is like holding Alexi in his mouth, yes. So... So, uh, D22... Takes his spanner out, growing in confidence, and he's going to cast invisibility from his spanner and oh. shoot it at Alexi. I believe I can touch it. Well, throw the spanner at Alexi, hopefully casting. Because if I touch another person, it can make them invisible as well. You would need to touch Alexi yourself, which you can do. May I jump? May I try to jump then? In which case, I'll. So, 
yes, you will need to make an athletics or an acrobatics check to yep. try and get up the wriggling monster yep. to turn Alexi invisible, but I will 100% allow this. Okay. Let's do it. And I will say you have advantage because the creature is slowed. Fantastic. Here goes nothing. Where's the dice I've been rolling really well with? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Advantage, yeah? That's what I said. Oh my fuck's sake. 12 is the highest in the advantage. I will say you also have your lucky if you need, because it's been a while since you played. Yes. Yes. This isn't a guidancey thing, is it? No, no, it's a feat. Uh, if you want to use yeah, it, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use lucky. On go this for game. it. You can put a reroll on that. Do I get both? Both reroll. No, it's just one. Just, <laughs> it's worth a try, isn't it? Yes. Fifteen plus three, eighteen. With an eighteen, <laughs> emboldened by whatever Zas gave you, you quickly run, <laughs> climb up, and you sort of high five Alexi on the boot, and Alexi, you say like. Woof, Vanish. You've used all your movement. You are currently climbing on the creature, completely visible. Just want to point that out. Uh, but Alexi, you are invisible in its jaw. Can I say, Alexi, you are in invisible? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to do? No. Milo. Okay, well, Milo was going to try and <laughs> thawed whip Alexi back towards her, but she can't see him now. <laughs> Which is a problem. Um, okay, uh, Myla's gonna try and take like step more towards it. Can she? Oh, make a wisdom saving throw, yeah, and we'll yeah, find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. Uh, Thirteen plus eight, twenty-one. Yep. You you snap out of it, and the frightened condition you were suffering from is now gone. You focus. You see two of your best friends. Well, one of your best friends fighting for their life, the other <laughs> one just vanished. And thinking back to the other person you lost less than a day ago. You steal yourself and you begin to approach. What happens next? Um, so I'm going to... Okay, I'm gonna um, still cast... Um, Thorn whip on it mm -hmm. and try and pull it towards me because I want it to not be going back into the snow. I want like I want to keep it close. So you're trying to pull the creature towards yep. you. Okay. Understood. Make an attack roll, please. 16. Cool. I just need to check. Okay, 16 hits. Okay. Um, so that is first of all five points of damage. Great. Um, Finally, something. <laughs> cool. Um, and do 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 do. That is a. No, that's. A, oh, and now I. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's all she can do for now because cool. she can't see Alexi. Cool. Is the creature currently restrained? Uh, no, it's just it just gets pulled. Um, let me. Oh, let me check. I think I think it just gets pulled towards me. Um, it's cool. so it gets moved ten feet closer to me. Cool. Oh, is it large or is it giant? Oh, it's it's large. Okay, yes. fine. Large is fine. Yeah, it's large yeah. monstrosity. Yeah, you're fine. Drags towards you. Cool. Alexi, you are invisible. Yep. Milo's doing some cool shit. Yep. D twenty two is your bro. Yep. What happens next? I, I mean, <laughs> I. It's so playing against character because. Strength is terrible for me, but I genuinely, I don't think... Oh, I hate this phrase. Mechanically speaking, I don't think there's anything I do that isn't try and push myself out. So, yeah, unless you're going to educate me otherwise. No. Is that no or no? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> you know what feats you have. Yeah, not. <laughs> um, Could you? I'm not there. Okay. Objectively, you are right. Yellow in character, it's fine. Uh, oh, fucking um, right. Does, does is the creature um, ever like adjusting its grip? Like, is it you know when like if a dog is holding something mm. up, it kind of grabs. At this point, it's sort of like the mouth is sort of slowly moving around, slowly, Alexi, yeah. trying to find the grip. You're like wriggling against yeah. it, yeah. Um, but it's not like hung, hung, hung. It's, it's got like, big teeth, right? Yeah, big long fangs, like cool. scratching into your side a little bit. Cool, right? Um, please tell me. I understand that this will take my whole turn. 
What happens next? Thing? I would like to do two <laughs> things. One, I am going to take the heavy copper helmet and jam that onto one of the fangs. Okay. Two, I want to try and wriggle my way out of there. Okay. Nice. Cool. I'll allow it. Okay, thank Great you. Great stuff. I need you to you. make a strength attempt or an athletics attempt to try and put enough force to jam. Oh! No, I'll, just just make a general. Just roll a d20 for me. Roll a d20 for me. <laughs> Come on. Come on. 19. 19. Yes. You find it, you jam it on there, and it twists into there. <laughs> cool. Uh, you can now attempt the strength check with advantage. With a creature still disadvantaged. Okay. Two 14s. Two 14s. 10. Oh. <laughs> Immediately with pain and the jaw unhooks a little bit and you slide out, land on the ground. Uh, I'm going to grab D D D22 as I'm falling. Okay. Uh, you need to make <laughs> a, an athletic helpful. check and an attempt to catch with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, cancel out. Straight roll because you're attempting to grab. Straight roll? Straight, Straight roll. Yeah. Okay. Four. Four. You miss. You land. I'm out! Fantastic. Five points of full damage as you Ooh, land one, one, right? yeah, 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 yeah. on the ground. You technically... No, you do not have your movement anymore because I allowed all that other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. What's the rule with invisibility? He's just still invisible even if he dies. And oh, Isn't it if I make yeah. an attack or something? So technically... I'm, uh, it I... becomes invisible until the spell ends. Anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as, it, as it's on the target's person. The spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. You did not make an attack, you're still invisible. Okay, cool. Uh, so there is a pfft of snow yeah. right <laughs> next to my <laughs> And then... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's the creature's turn. It can't see what just fell out of its mouth, but it can see you right in front of it. It's going to make an attack roll. Yeah, come at me. <laughs> 25. I mean, like... I imagine that, I imagine that hits. <laughs> yes, that, that does just hit. Does, um, does slow give disadvantage to attack rolls? Uh, I don't think it does. Oh, I think it does have. It does give it minus two to its. Um, that was minus two. Fucking hell. Oh, that was minus two. Fucking hell. What yourself. did you think was going no, to I happen? Didn't, I didn't realize it was Cock, that's why. <laughs> you pulled the trigger and I, were amazed things I didn't realize it was David Cox. <laughs> oh, boo! Yeah. Even Jeff didn't laugh at that one. <laughs> Five. Okay. Nine. 13 points of piercing damage as it slowly reaches down to bite you um, and grabs in your arm. Wasn't enough to pick you up though at this point. Cool. It's going to attempt to move backwards. A tiny bit. That's it. Uh, attacks of opportunity from both of you, technically. If I'm like. on the ground. Cool. I That's fine. That's up to you. Why not? What? <laughs> Stay invisible. Stay invisible. Stay, stay yeah, you would lose invisible. Yeah. invisible. yeah. yeah. Cool. Also, Alexi's on one hit point on yeah. the ground. To role play this, he's not moving anywhere. <laughs> cool. Um, if you'd like, Milo. Cool. I'm just checking because I think the only thing I can really do is like um, just rub out the copper helmet. My, like, We're not going to see that again. Star for my. Um, like a little gold physical. filling for the like, snake forever. Cool. No much. worries. It's sort of very <laughs> trendy. Like, right. So sorry, I'm just trying to find the stuff for that. Um, because I only have spells in the way. Da, 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 da. Come on, da, 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 where is my sickle? There we go. Um, come on. There we go. Right, okay. Watch the crazy amount of damage that this sickle's about to do. If it even hits. It almost certainly does not hit. That's a seven. No. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yep, lovely. Cool. Uh, Zask. You're up. Lexi's still invisible. Alexi's invisible. Myla is next to Alexi. D22 is currently riding the monster. Of course. D22. Oh dear. Um. <clears throat> oh, you took my damage too, don't you? Sorry. Oh no. That's <laughs> completely forgotten there. Um. I, I, I think I'm just going to be like, let's go. <laughs> Let's just can we go? I mean, that's very much as Mr. Deidre, get down from there this instant! I'm get a little down. bit preoccupied. Okay. Still slowed, by the way. Just doing the same thing. Cool. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. No worries. How much damage did you take? Hmm? How much yes. damage did you take? I can I take? Damage. I haven't taken any oh, so yeah, far. I'm and I'm, I'm pretty. Top of initiative. D22, you're up. Yeah. 
All right, I am going to... Um, will you allow me to cast Slickening so make myself all slick <laughs> and try and uh, wind out this grace? Absolutely. So yeah. Good. You're, you're, you're he, won't, not, you're, he won't tell anyone this, but it's a little bit of a panic if he's honest as well. So just kind of... <laughs> you just oil yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, it, so I think aren't you holding on to it? It's not holding on to you. Yeah. yeah, it's not gripping you. You're gripping it. You're climbing it. Okay, but you can still do that. I'm going to do it anyway because I want to slide down the shaft. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's a sound bite if you haven't eaten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that, please. Great stuff. Um, one thing I do need to note. As you slide down, steam comes up. You do take 11 points of fire damage as steam comes off it as you slide down. Wow, okay. Yeah. Cool. You have resistance. So uh, and reduced to 5 and, and you take 5. as well, yeah. yeah. So you both take 5 points of damage then in that case. Okay. Cool. You land on the ground. Uh, make an acro- uh, You're slippery. Yep. You land prone. Half your movement. Mm-hmm. Cool. I've got a bonus. You've still got your bonus action, yeah. I have a bonus action. I'm going to shoot my um, my ballista of- hit. No, it's not a ballista, is it? My- uh, your, your the, healing cannon, cannon. the healing cannon. Yep. You can see it's Ray. Blah, 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 and shout, Alexi, jump in front of Ray. And if he's hopefully within 15 feet of me, he can get a little bit of health bonus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, cool. Call into the Ray, my friends. Call into the Ray. <laughs> cool. uh, yeah, you can roll, 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 roll healing on that. That's oh fine. God. Amazing. Uh, so you, that means that you get Alexi. Technically, I think it's each, each creature within, so you can also get Milo with that as well. well everyone gets an, it's not much, but five HP. Uh, Actual HP, temporary HP. Actual HP. Yeah, nice. that's right. Cool. Uh, Miley can also take that as well. Oh, what did I get? Sorry, five five hit points appear from <laughs> oh, D22. Yeah. Thank you. Happy. Cool. I'm so um, happy. You've still got your movement, D22. <laughs> um, I will uh, jog back towards Zask. Cool, so you get up. <laughs> right, right. There we go. You can, get, you. you can get to about there. Uh, it's still slow, so there's no reactions. Cool. Zask, did you see what I did? Milo, you're up. Um, I have words about that. Cool. Milo's then going to look at it. Um, and... Uh, she's still sort of, yeah, she's still been like holding her hand out, out at it and just be like, go away. And she's going to cast re Reduce on it. Okay. <laughs> Love. What's the save I need to make? <laughs> Con save DC 16. Con 16. Okay. I just need to check. Am I? It's only deck saves. Cool. Con. It's not very Connie. Well, it is Connie. It's a 12. <gasps> Immediately noticing it's pregging away, it shrinks down to about the size. Um, Would you like this helpful bird? That's a great, great. It's about the size of this helpful bird. <laughs> yeah, that's a seagull from episode fourteen. It is. Uh, right down. Still angry. Still napping. Still slowed, but suddenly lost the much less intimidating than it was a few minutes ago. Cool. And bonus action, Shalele. Nope, two spells in one turn. I can if it's a cantrip. I think. I think you can cast a cantrip and a spell. I think that's only one. a quickened thing. I thought you could as well. I thought bonus action sure. and action cantrip yeah, plus I spell. Think, I think it's okay. Because I Dust think I did this and you told me I couldn't. Accepts. And I was like, no, I'm right. <laughs> only if the original spell was a bonus action. One of them oh, the original. Okay, action. well, in that case, I'll do Shillelagh first and then cast Reduce. Yeah. I will double check that during the break though because I'm not 100% cool. sure on that, but cool. Because I think yeah. I tried to do this before you told me no and then I checked and I was like, I, I could have done it. Because <laughs> that's why I keep the healing words really useful for me. Yeah. Healing word of bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. is... Right. So, ice. Cool. Good as gold. Ice. <laughs> Sweet, we're on that front. Alexi. Uh, Alexi is going to get up and go with original plan get on the fucking rocks. <laughs> um, however, before that, he is going to say, Myla, I'm right next to you. We need to get on the rocks now, okay? <laughs> I love D&D. Okay. You'll find out what happens. It's fine. Yeah. This is going to be an anticipatory pulling of the longbow, I can see. <laughs> That's a euphemism if I've ever heard one. Uh, right. The Rem Rask, or Rem Drask is gonna go next. I hate those things so much. Yep. Uh, it's mutual, don't you worry. Yep. Um, cool. Still slowed. It's your cute little birdie. I mean, giant, giant birdie. Uh, can I just get oh, no. on the reduce? What am I reducing its attack hits by? Uh, 1d4 less damage. And, and it has hit? disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. Okay. That's still a. Uh, yeah, that's not a lot. Yeah, it's just that it 
goes down. Cool. Uh, it rolled a Pretty nine, close. so it makes an attempt to bite. Completely misses. Uh, it is no longer slowed. Curses. Cool. Oh, Does it need to make no. an attempt to regrow itself again? No, I think that now is just how it is. Cool. Still small and vicious, but suddenly, <laughs> and it bears eyes directly on you, Myla. Um, but that is its turn. Uh, cool, Zask, you're up. Um, I'm uh, merely go. Uh, uh, I shall say, D22, come and come and shoot it from over here. Get it from over here on these nice safe rocks. There we go. On the rocks, Whoa. yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, gotcha, so, gotcha. You want to get up on the rocks? Cool. Oh wait, that's not your turn yet. What am I doing? Uh, cool. Anything else? Zask, cool. Top of initiative. D22. Yep, I'll do what she says. On the rocks. Yep. Great. Do what they say. Cool. That's your movement. Action bonus action. Bonus action, I'm going to go um, most of them are healing cannon as well. Again. Cool. Thank you. On Alexi. Cool. Go for yeah. it. Straight ahead. <laughs> three. Three. Oh, sorry. Uh, so no, it's three plus two. Five. Five. Thank you. Great stuff. Uh, you still get full action as well. Full action, I'm going to go for just a straight up crossbow to the snake's face because he's learned after two. It was a bit embarrassing when I did the second one, to be honest. <laughs> um, Shot but I've already forgiven myself for it, so we'll move on. Uh, just a regular old crossbow. Go for it, make an attack roll. Third time lucky. Uh, so, D plan 1D8 crossbow. I'm a I just need to check my modif my. Uh, Bonuses on the straight up uh, crossbow hits. On your so straight it's up crossbow. It's a plus six, so 17. 17 hits, absolutely. Perfect. Hits. And I've got one D8 plus D4, so one D8. Slow with concentration, so they should be uh, So, oh, that's eight. That's eight. That. Plus <laughs> nine uh, plus three. 12 damage. 12 damage. Yep. It flies through under the plates. <laughs> oh, it's a much higher pitch given how small it is. Be a 12 damage on the back of that. Cool. Finally. It's taking a hit. Great stuff. Uh, right, Myla. Myla, fire doesn't seem to hurt it. <laughs> Very good, Mr. D22. I'm sure she's very appreciative of that particular little Still looks pretty healthy, all things considered. She was not aware of. <laughs> okay. Myla's just going to, like, look at this thing and just be like, fuck you, and cast Thunderwave. Ooh, okay. Ahead of her. Max max level? Not max level. Cool. What level are you? Second you level. Second level? Go for it. Uh, I need to make a constitution saving throw. <coughs> Natural one. Oh, happy days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on. I've got to find some D8s now. Jesus. Uh, one, two. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where's my one? Would you like one? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like There's one. There's a special D1. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, 14 plus 8. 22. 22 points of damage. Yeah, so 22. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. This concentration appears, and you can all see, like, it, everything bends a little bit around Myla. <laughs> as just the plates crack and impact inside of the creature. And it's pushed 10 feet back. And it's knocked back. I'm going to say it's knocked back prone on that as well with such a powerful hit. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, she's going to look at it, scoff slightly, and turn and walk away. Okay. Up towards the rocks. Or like, she's going to move away towards the rocks. Cool, she's guys. Don't look at explosions. Damn right. Yep. Cool. <laughs> nice. Uh, Alexi, you're up. Uh, he is going to hop up on the rocks, um, draw his longbow, and as he does, uh, he's going to try basically like drag the wood of the bow across one of his open wounds. Yep. Uh, I will take some damage as I am. I take five points of damage. Cool. Um, and I. Now I'm firing radiant arrows at it, please. Sure thing. Make an attack roll or two. Uh, advantage because it's prone. Uh, advantage because it's prone. Uh, first one is a 24 yes. to hit. Okay. <laughs> and the second one is an 18. Both hit. 
Cool. Um, so that's going to be 2d8, which are these ones, uh, plus 2d6, which are these ones. That's all right, actually. Um, okay, right. Five. So do you want the radiant separated? No, 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 all together. Okay, cool. Um, uh, 19 plus 4, 23 plus 4, 27 points of damage from yeah, both arrows. My friends are hard. Boom, boom. <laughs> Wriggling yep. and screaming on the ground. Um, is there anything else you would like to do? Uh, that is movement action, bonus action. Cool. Cutting its losses, moving and screaming, it wriggles up. And the last thing you see as you turn back to face on the rocks is its little steaming butt buried back into the ground, hmm. burrowing away. It was a good idea to make you invisible, wasn't it, Alexi? No, it wasn't! But what, what, what was that? What no was, longer invisible. What was all of that? It was a, a spell. A spell I cast for my friends. I am capable of making spells too. We shall, we shall discuss this. Alexi will sort of like half walk, half kind of crawl uh, toward Marlon. She'll go, you, are, you, are you all right? I think I'm better than you. Well, in general, yes, I would have thought so, I mean... Not... Alexi, how are you feeling? I'm um, ra ra rather like um, something just scratched open half my back. We don't have to, we don't, oh, we don't have time to spare. No, we're f I'll be just, I can, I can walk, it's fine. If you could walk quickly, that would be... Get up, for the title. might have cast healing word on Alexi. Um, for a meagre... Oh. Um, six. Six points. Way! Uh, okay, yep. Sort of pushes himself up, kind of going to be sort of using the longbow as an improvised walking stick for mm. a while, I imagine. Uh, um, t t Titan. Yes, Titan, right. Is everyone... Is everyone in a, in a suitable condition to, to uh, uh, forge onwards? Again, I have a hole in my back, but it's not the first time I've had a hole in me. Let's go. You're right, good, right. <sighs> so, we're carrying on? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. The four of you pick yourselves up. Who's leading the charge? No. I'm quite excited. Right, let's go. Let's, let's yeah. show, them, show them the way. The I, grab, I, grab, I grab Zars. He surprises D20. He grabs Zars' hand oh. and start and, and, and as, if to, as if at first to kind of pull her towards a titan. But there's a tiny bit of affection in there. A tiny bit of warmth from the... Uh, the battle. Arm in arm, hand in hand, D22 and Zask skip towards the Titan <laughs> as Myla and Alexi, limping and not really speaking, slowly amble behind them. And that's where we're going to take a break. Get a coffee and a drink. I might have some lunch. That's a good idea. All right. See you back here in a few minutes uh, with part two. Don't go anywhere. Well, do get a drink. You know, the, ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, what, do, do, do whatever you want. Do what you want. Do what you want. It's fine. Do what you like. I'm a professional. All right. <laughs> Greetings, peasants. Alexi Karstav here. I uh, hope you're enjoying watching me in the show. I'm doing a fantastic time this week. No, uh, we wanted to thank the people who all make the show so great. Oh, God's sake. Uh, yes, yes, yes. There is uh, there is Erin Gray who did a truly beautiful rendition of My Lovely Face. And everyone else. Uh, and and them. Uh, there is Michael G Gelf Gelfi. I do this every time. Gelfi. Gelfi, yes. He does the uh, the very heroic music that you see me being very handsome in. Finally, uh, who else do we have? We've got... There's Sticky Fingers, who does all the amazing maps that we get to fight on, or sometimes not fight on and immediately leave. Um, there's Loki Fellows, who also does amazing episode art, and she does all the show animations, which is, like, super, super talented. We also have that, uh, the, the social media sorceress, uh, Tanya Garamani. Oh, what is it with people and titles? Honestly, it's so gauche. And uh, we also have Jeffa and Nate doing their uh, technical wizardry behind the scenes. There are links for absolutely everyone in the description, so you should go check them out because they're all awesome and really so much more talented than we are. Uh, I mean, than you.
a professional. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's how we start. That is exactly how we start. And welcome back. Before the break, our friends, our fighters, our comrades, our heroes are uh, making their way up the mountains uh, to find the Titan. On the way, though, ambushed by a large, icy, yet still somehow very hot, giant insect creature, which had ambushed um, some passing deer, and our friends got caught in the crossfire. Milo's seemingly more impacted this by the, than... Mila seemingly more impacted by this than the rest. Uh, still managed to steal herself, saving Alexi from the literal jaws of defeat. And wounding the creature, the party made their escape and fled before any real damage could be done. With night soon approaching, our friends are now heading towards the known site of the Titan. And we join them now as night begins to settle over the mountains. As you were. Um, so we've, we've arrived walking. at... You're still walking. Okay. How far away is the Titan now? From what we can see. A couple of hours, maybe, still. Um, you, can, you can't see the Titan, but you've caught reflections and glints of, of metal of some sort. And on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being absolute pitch black dead of night, how dark is it? Probably another 90 minutes of usable light before dark vision needs to kick in. Okay, cool. Uh, then we, we should probably try and uh, get to it. We can... Yes, that's the plan. That's Set the plan. Up. We were making our way. Come on, come along. With you. Yeah. No. Let's um. Let Let's go. Um. How's your leg, Alexi? My 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 leg. Yeah. Are you gonna be okay walking up? Oh. Um. Yes. It would be m- mostly um my my back was got. Oh. Oh. Right. Sure. Um. Yeah, where, where are we? We're, we're going Follow to... Follow us! <laughs> okay, yeah. Turn. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Mr. D... Mr. D22. Yes. I'm, I'm calmed down a little. I, 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 you, you remember I mentioned the, the, the need for focus? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, focusing on the goal, you, you, you will never become a successful uh, scientist, researcher, or, or indeed, uh, you know, a champion of the one person who brings the Titan back and they all said it couldn't be done, if, if you don't have the, the focus. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I, I, I appreciate that you're those two, and, 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 but climbing onto a, a literal monster, mm-hmm. putting yourself in harm's way, mm. I... I, no, no one else is worth as much as you are, Mr. D22. You have to, you have to prioritize. Do you understand? No. (laughs) What I'm saying is, you, what I'm saying is, you are more important than them. You are very smart and, and uh, sometimes friends can simply hinder one's ambitions. And, And you might think, Gosh, this is nice. We hang out. We eat barbecued meat. We're all having a good time. But no, really, uh, they're, they're, they're not fully supporting you in your ongoing quest. Hmm. Do you think I have not learned something that makes me realise this? Because they have been quite supportive so far, but perhaps they are also being mean to me. Well, the other point is that you can't... You can't... Trust anyone. They will, if you like them too much, they will eventually betray you. That's all I'm saying, and it's not worth climbing monsters for them. I, I just think, you know, you are, you're like me. You know, you're, 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 you're focused and, and, and intelligent, and you don't need that, 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 that nonsense that other people uh, seem... Uh, yeah, you, you, you don't need that. Are you asking me to help you focus? I, I, I am I'm getting back in the zone. I, uh, that, it, I was thrown momentarily. I was thrown by your... Your, I, I, I thought you were going to get injured, and I, I was very alarmed by this. But we're nearly there. We are so nearly there. I, um, so I will be ultimately very focused. Don't you, don't you worry. Mm-hmm. I do believe that you'll be stronger with friends as well. They might be your friends one day too, but it makes you feel happy. You think they are? Uh, the only reason they're here, the only reason they're helping us, 
It is, is because of that. Oh, we must get our revenge. We must destroy our enemies. It's not. It's not a pure motivation. They don't. They don't care about my research. They don't care uh, that, that that no one, no one but me could could possibly uh, achieve this. They they believe in me, and that's <coughs> that's a big a big improvement. But they're, they're doing it for their own reasons. Is all I'm saying. But there isn't anything wrong if your own reasons are to help people as well. My, mine or theirs. If they want to, maybe they just want vengeance, don't they? Yeah, but what does that, what does vengeance prove? It's, 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 it's ridiculous, it's unnecessary, it's, it's, it's emotional distractions is what it is. You, you're, you don't, you're above such things, right, right Mr. D22? Hmm. I struggle to understand what vengeance really means or what the point of it is. Ideally, I'd like my friend back, who fell, and I'm led to believe that ideally, if we kill someone called Zara K. Fury, then she might come back. I don't know about that, maybe. I just think that there are more important things in life. Can I, can I show you? Yes. Something. Is it valuable? Yes, invaluable. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and he's going to go in his breastplate, rummage, rummage around, and just sort of bring, just sort of to the top, but not like fully take it out. I want to make sure that those two can't see. Please, mm-hmm. just take, take an eye out. Just, <laughs> just need a sleight of hand, please, to see how sneaky you are about this. Thank you. Ooh, that's good. I like that. <coughs> I like this game. It's a good game. <laughs> Eight. Oh no, uh, wait, no, eleven. Plus? Eleven. I shall give you, sorry, I'm giving you my token. That's, that's fine. Usually. Uh, Milo, you do spot a glimpse of whatever this is. <laughs> I believe, um, I believe it's blue. Matt, is it blue? It's shiny and blue. As Zask pulls out. And somewhat crystalline. A long shard of processed red lithium crystal. This. This is going to make all the difference, and I, I have put myself in danger to obtain this. Because it is for a higher purpose, you see? It, 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 it's for a cause, it's a, it, This is what's going to help us bring back that titan. Why does it help the titan? Yeah, you're, you're, I, will, I, will, I will explain everything, but you'll, be, but you'll, you'll see. It is a very complex, um, this is why no one else has quite managed to achieve it. And there, there's a bunch of dwarves and they're... I've like seen coming. this before many times. By lithium crystals, they're important to my friends. Well, yes, well, we don't need to, we don't need to um, like put it away again. We don't need to, to, to get into it, um, really. But, uh, but I, I went to a lot of trouble to... to uh, obtain from mm. those, uh, you remember those dwarves? You mm. sort of, ah, ah, and then you're all, ah, and then you sort of, you sort of kill them all. That mm. was, uh, As you do. Do you? Yeah. I don't. I focus on the task at hand. Okay. Which is, in this case, reanimating the Titan. I just, mm-hmm. that's all I'm, I, I, have not, I have nothing more to add, but just, you and me, we're going to do this. All yes, right. I'm honest, I become Titan, I can help you. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. Thank you. I just, I just wanted to make sure your head was in the right place. Yes. Is there anything else I can do to prepare? No. We shall have to go and assess the situation. Uh, make sure your mind is sharp and um, your observational skills are keen. Okay. And why were you so sneaky sneaky with Blue Crystal? Uh, well, it's very valuable. I wouldn't want someone to try and take tr- it. You do not trust my friends? I, I don't know them as well as I know you. Understood. I appreciate that, friend. Um, do you react to this in any way, seeing what you've seen? Um, not, no. Cool. Darkness begins to fall, and as you slowly reach the summit of the mountain, the journey has been quiet, but somewhat peaceful. You crest above the clouds, and a clear night sky oh, begins to greet you. The cold sets in a little bit, and looking to the distance, you do start to see, all of you start to see some activity across the peak of the mountain somewhat. Zask being your excitable little self. See a couple of things. 
you see a large bust of a titan lion. <laughs> There's my moment. It's gone. You see a little further up an arm larger than anything you've seen being worked on by a large humanoid figure with what? a hammer. What? At this distance, that's all you really see at this point. But you see some activity going on. You are still quite a ways away. There's someone there. Do you see? Do you see that? Look, look. I assume I can see it. You can all see this. Okay. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. going to damage it. They're going to damage it. We must We must hurry. Is there any way to go faster? It seems someone has beaten you to the Titan. Oh, well, no. I mean, they, they, they these people, it's just, just, just in case they, they try and damage it, that's all. Uh, probably just, probably just tourists. What if they own it? It already looks re- remarkably uh, d- damaged already. Oh, no, it is, no, it is damaged. And no, they don't own it. No one owns it. It was left over from an ancient war a long time ago. Practically a historical artifact uh, by now. Long since abandoned, but sometimes you... But if they're there first, then it's theirs, right? No, wrong. Wrong? Wrong. If we want Titan, we go for Titan. Yes, focus, right. Yes, good. Head in the game, yes. Focus. No, we, 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 let, let's go and, and make sure they're not... Destroy you, you know. I, I'm a researcher. You see, I, I know how to preserve historical artifacts. We don't want, we don't want tourists ruining everything. Um, let's, let's let's hurry. Okay. So before we carry on approaching, need a marching order, and I need to know: Are we just walking up? Are we sneaking? Are we how how are we going about this? At this point, you've seen one large figure working on something at quite a distance. Like this isn't really to scale, but yeah, yeah. Alex, you're still a bit invisible, right? No. 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 <laughs> no. I think it's been gone right. for a long no, time. No, as soon as he attacks, also, he goes. It's, it's been, been, it's been, like been more than an hour. hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't last that long, does um, it? I think we should approach with caution. I am r- rather inclined to agree. Um, Fast, but cautiously. All right. No, sure, sure, sure. no, no. Simply cautiously. Oh. Uh, medium paced cautious? cautious? No. Like running cautious? Cautiously. <laughs> Um, if you could all stay close to me as well. Yep. Which we're starting to wander off already a little tiny bit. I <laughs> reach out and I'm grab happy to be... his shoulder. <laughs> it's like his legs are still moving, but just just paddling, just paddling. Uh, D D. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. I, I I am in so much pain. If if you could if you could just please just please do as my asks. You're taking enough damage for today already. I. Yes. I think if there was a fight, we would struggle. Ah. I, I don't think it will come to that. We will We will merely inform these people that we are. Well, we shall have a look first, right. carefully. Right. I'm a very good trader, so I can... Sometimes I get okay. things about fighting. Woot. Okay. Woot. Woot. Coming down the hill, ah. you also see... Ah. It's beautiful. A smaller, but still large, warforged, walking roughly in your direction. I immediately drop to the ground. Stealth checks everyone. Uh, my mm. cast pass without trace. Cool. Plus ten on your rolls. I cast invisible myself. You can be invisible if you'd like. Yes. Twenty-one plus that. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. I still check a ten, but I'm invisible. You're invisible, so you get advantage. That will do seventeen. Um, you've, got, you've got an extra 10 on top of that as well. 27. So 27 for you. So ask. Jesus. 12. Plus that trace. Plus the 10. Plus yes, 10. that was including the 10. Jeez, all right. Sorry. <laughs> I got a 12. All of you go silent, <laughs> invisible. You drop to the ground. Is ask a little bit, still like muttering and whimpering. Something else. Down, down, down. Shut the fuck up. Need just all of us like drop like professional yeah. like sort of really yeah. like five seconds and you're just there like oh, oh, we're going oh, down right. oh my knees <laughs> crack 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 the large automaton walks down the hill slowly methodically eyes ahead it comes down it stops it turns a full 90 degrees and what you see is a large bin in each of his hands almost joined at one side. It turns, and it carries on walking away from you towards a ravine. 
was able to. So you said it was carrying a large bit. Just a large, like a like a big skip. Were able to have a look what was. Make a perception check. Inside. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll have a look as well. Fifteen. Twenty-six. Empty. Cool. With well, a twenty-six, though, you do notice in the pathway the little gears and springs and little bits of metal sort of like scattering the ground around, and you notice deep imprints in the rock as if this is a path that has travelled many, many times. Many, many times. I think these people have been here for quite a while. I don't think they're tourists. Uh, Deconstruction, perhaps. Oh, God. I'm going to need you not to have a heart attack. <laughs> could I ask you? Could I ask you an honest question? Uh, sure. Do I look as cool as the war forged in front of us? I think you look cooler, to be honest. You don't have a bin. It looks at his plastic arm and a little cog just falls off. <clears throat> the war forged walks away. What would you like to do? Um, n- have we gotten any closer, or is no. this thing just like, like roughly, but not not close enough to discern anything else yet? Okay. Sorry, this isn't quite the scale of a real mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, um, can't quite do that. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, uh, Milo, can you get a good look at whomever that is? Any anything you see? Is it is it giant? Is it just a very big person? Um, can I have try and sort of. You can, but at this distance, it'd be very quick. It's like a large shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Can't really see from here. Just that it's a big person. I can <sighs> go closer. Uh, I think we better stay together, so we might all have to get a bit closer. Okay. All right. Um, slowly, quietly, as concealed as we can. If the muttering could stop for just two seconds, please. Just, 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 just please, please, please. Silence, yeah, no, I understand completely. Right. Are, are you sure? Because silence it's... Silence not a problem. I you are still invisible for another hour, by the way. Cool. Oh, silence in my classroom. Fudging, 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 fudging. All right, Um, yeah. Head up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So we following Little Warforged. No, we're going up the hill. Okay. I'm the four of you together as a group begin to walk up the hill. As you get closer, I need stealth checks from everyone. D twenty two. Because you make noise, you are still rolling at disadvantage with your armor. You still have the pass without trace. Natural twenty on the first one. <laughs> wow, twenty five on the second. Jesus. With the plus ten. 35. <laughs> 29 for me. 19. 17. 17. Plus 10 is crazy. Yeah, it's mad. Crazy. Quiet as anything, and with the singular sole focus of both Professor Zask <laughs> and D22. It's game time. D22 picks up Zask and carries them up <laughs> the hill, their little legs kicking in the air. Can I have those minis back, please, uh, David? Thank Deal. you. Yep. Because you're not there anymore. You take your time, you work up slowly, and you get closer. What you notice, D22, is the figure at the top. You see two things. You see a long, ornate arm with brass metal plating, nice gold trim, Mm -hmm. intricate robotic fingers, and you see a tall, male, muscular stone giant hammering it over an anvil. The other thing you notice is a second large figure on the side of this waving their hands a little bit and whispering some magics and the inside of this large chest of what you can only surmise is another part of the titan slowly glows and breathes in and out as these two quietly go about their work. You also hear a mighty boom as the sound of something large and metal is placed on the ground. That that would be the bin. I think, so. <laughs> I think they're but, not deconstructing it. I think the bin is to collect parts. Are they breaking it down? Breaking it down for parts? No, no I, th- I think building, it, building perhaps it. the opposite. <laughs> they, 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 they're going to do more damage than good. They they they, they won't or, succeed. Or, they, or, they don't or, have professor, the basis. Professor, the professor. Yes. We, yes. <clears throat> yes. Then perhaps we attempt. Diplomacy. Yes, uh, we, we shall tell them right, that they're, they're going to, to, to be on your best behaviour. 
I'm always on my best behavior. Well, I, I am an former associate <laughs> professor of the Demetric Archive. How about we, and I understand that this is coming from me, how about we don't pretend we're superior to anyone for the next ten minutes? I don't understand. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me. Just we're, we're going. We're, we're going to try and be diplomatic. All right. Boom. Boom. <sighs> Hits on metal echo it. throughout. You hear the scraping and knocking of something else far deeper from that mighty clang. Sort of happened earlier as well. My my dad used to occasionally work on Warforged. Um, maybe I can go talk to them. Uh, I, I think the, um, the the sooner we uh, announce our presence, we don't want to just appear and s- startle anyone. Sure. Uh, Shall I go ahead? I'm right behind you. Uh, okay. Um, D. D twenty two is walking, just walking up slightly further. Still towards invisible. The, yeah, towards the, st- the stone giant on the top left. D- My lips. Sorry, which which one? We got they're both stone giants. Both stone giants. Yes. Yeah. Almost, almost in, in, entranced. He is walking towards the nearest one, which would be that one. This one here? D. Yeah. And his eyes are glowing a little bit red. <laughs> no, he's invisible. <laughs> if you could see him, his eyes are glowing a little bit red. <laughs> yeah. you Milo's, make your way. Milo's kind of just... D. Stealth check. With disadvantage or normal? Um, still making your disadvantage. Okay, 13. Oh, no, sorry, it's not, because it's plus 10, it's 19. 19. God, that's such, so handy. You're welcome. <laughs> Isn't it only if you stay within certain range? What, how far are you? Uh... That's a good point. Damn you, David. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's, so it's anyone, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you mm-hmm. has a plus 10 bonus to stealth checks. Okay. But then I think, like... Then you can... Yeah. Move. Okay, I'll allow. Um, Milo's going to kind of, like... Go after D. Okay. You can hear D. You can hear D. You can, hear, D, you can oh, hear D. Lock, lock, his, lock his crossbow. I mean, you can hear. Like you can hear. His um, your like, passive is still enough to hear. Yeah. 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 Alexi follows Myla. What are you doing, Zask? I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> even standing there by myself. All right. Um, okay. Myla has a horrible feeling about how this is all going to go, so she is just going to suddenly say, uh, "Hang on," because D twenty two did get there first. Okay. Cool. So D twenty two, you arrive. And you see this giant chassis of a great titan. This titan you've heard a lot about now for the past few days. Blankly staring into the distance ahead. You hear the mutterings of the stone giant on the other side. What would you like to do? Can I go up? Can I? Um, I'm invisible now. Can I go up to the stone giant? So it's wait. I'm guessing that looks like exposed waist part and I yep. just want to touch and feel around what the mechanics are in his like, and maybe what this what this pulsing is that's come this that's sure make there. an arcana or yeah make an arcana check for me please you're making multiple arcana checks in it yeah. 20 t- 20 t- <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord <laughs> you place your hand against it and you hear slight mechanical clicks and whirrings and the uh, sort of soft breathing as this blue light is making its way through the chest and different parts sort of glowing and pulsing a little bit as it goes. And th- it feels like things sort of like little things clicking into place all over. You check through intricate wires and cables, not like you where you're, to be frank, roughly made and sort of cobbled together. This feels like a piece of artistry, a piece of work that has been meticulously built over tens of months, if not years, if not decades. What is staring back at you or staring away from you seems to be something that you never could have dreamed to have achieved yourself and all your thoughts of making yourself yourself. We'll come back to Myla though. Myla's um, is going to sort of stand up as much as she can uh, and go, um, hello! Uh- <laughs> Roll, no, I'm joking. Uh, no. Okay. What are the other two doing? Uh, Alexi stands up right next to Myla. Just ask. Hyperventilating in the background. <laughs> <laughs> the clanging stops. A loud thud can be heard from below. The light, the magic immediately <laughs> snuffs out as well. As this figure looks past you to see this weird little troop of people 
D22, make a dexterity saving throw, please, to not be trampled. Oh no, I'm going to be trampled. A, uh, I need to log on to this. Sorry, I've been frozen out, but I've got a five. I think my dexterity is probably a three, I believe. Okay. Um, let me just check Jeff's password. Sorry. <laughs> Would be much more seamless if it was mine. It's a very tense moment here. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to get it wrong as long as my hands are. Yeah, I have. I have. <laughs> All right, I've got. I've got your stats here. Previously, on previously on D22, yeah. <laughs> you rolled a straight five, did you? I did. Cool. Uh, the giant walks past and does kick you. You are knocked back. Uh, you take five points of bludgeoning damage Beautiful. as you're knocked out of the way. The giant doesn't seem to pay much mind. Quickly hurrying across. Um, hello. Lovely to meet you. I'm Myla Amanadel from the Filveral. Um, my dad used to work with Warforged. Hi. The giant pauses for a moment and lets out. Ark! The banging stops up ahead and the other figure looks over, seeing the three of you begins to wander up. <laughs> Alex uh, is this Ark? I am he. Hi, lovely to meet you. I'm Myla Amanadel. I'm from the Val. Hello, Myla Amanadel. I'm from the Val. I am Ark. <laughs> Forgive my wife. She does not speak the common tongue. This is Tresha. Tresha. Uh, uh, if, if I may, Master Ark, you speak it phenomenally. I studied many years. Uh, I, I, uh, you also speak well, little man. Uh, th 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 thank you. Um, I, I believe I only know um, hello in the giant tongue. Um, and I. <laughs> can, you, can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Alexei like, does that like not amazingly pronounced, but it, it's hello. Performance check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Advantage for doing it. Uh, that is a seven. Ark winces a little bit. Uh, sorry, digs uh, in the air. Uh, so, sorry, um, uh, no. speaks giant for a moment with the compatriot. I speak and giant. What, what do they say? Um, what do they say? Uh, forgive their impudence. <laughs> I do not know where they come from. We will see. Be careful. And then he turns and he looks at you. And what of you, my little green friend? <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, and then I'm going to switch to Giant and say, uh, uh, what exactly is it that you think you're doing here? Did you, this is a, 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 a priceless historical artifact. I, I, and Tresha and Giant immediately responds, I, I agree. This is a priceless artifact, a, a work of art, one of the finest pieces. Yes. Well, y well, yes. A, a lot of people don't actually appreciate that, but we have been building this over years. Really? Yes. Well, we intend to make it a monument of all trials. Uh, here at the peak, untouched by would be. I wonder what do you mean. What is your purpose here? A, a, a monument. We should, right. Uh, a statue. Uh, Ah, right, okay, ah, no, uh, mm, yes, this is, mm, don't worry, don't, and then I'm going to switch back to common, like, don't worry, this is all, um, let's, now, this calls for a business meeting. Uh, I, <laughs> Something tells me you've lost your diplomacy. You think we should sit around some sort of a board table. And During I, this, you also hear the hurried, <laughs> boo, boo, footprints as the Warforged, the other Warforged, comes in on the other side. Not holding a big bin this time, but... Arms out, stops and waits, just looking. We, um, we actually have a Warforged with us as well. He's, um... Somewhere. Somewhere. He, uh, has turned invisible. I think he went to he, look. He, he does that a lot. Yeah. Uh, what is D22 doing right now? Scaling the top of that, uh... <laughs> this? Yeah, he's scaling, making his way up towards Okay, the make Better um, not be scratching it. <laughs> He, Damaging he, the paintwork. He is. <laughs> Let's be honest. He is. Absolutely right. digging so, the paintwork. <laughs> I need you to make an athletics check first of all to scale it. Yep. To see if you can actually climb it first, and then we'll see how quiet you can do it. Mm, athletics check. Oh, it's seven. Or, or acrobatics. Sorry. Ten. Acrobatics is ten. Yeah. Okay. You you manage to pull yourself up. Stealth check disadvantage. 
Do I still have the... You do. You do. <laughs> natural one. Eleven. <laughs> you go no, in, in fact, in fact, it's not a natural one, but it actually is a seven modifier of the ten. Natural so one is still... eighteen, but I have to be honest, it was a natural one. Natural one, one is still a failure. You go to climb yourself up, and you immediately fall back, and clang, hitting the ground hard. Treasure immediately turns around, and looking on the ground, looking for whatever that made that noise. That uh, is probably him. It, it, mm. Could you let your wife know that that's our, that'll be our Warforged? Um, he's called D22. Uh, 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 Ark. Ark relays that to Treasure. In, in Giant, I sense trickery. Keep your guard up. We'll be fine. Yes, small man. Uh, 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 Alexi is my name. Yes, small Alexi. Um, I, I, I just want to point out um, our, our, our Warforged, uh, if you'll forgive me for being quite uh, b- blunt, um, he sort of has the mind of a child. So um, he doesn't mean. That's rich coming from you. Anything. I'm a lot older than you think. Uh, it, it, it doesn't mean anything if he's just looking around. It's just curious. Uh, it gets really close, like on his knees and bends over you. You'll probably see how wounded Alexi is at this yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> you have suffered greatly to get here. Uh, that goes without saying. <sighs> Treasure. In giant. Show them. Treasure stops looking for you, because you are still invisible. Turns. Waves her hand. And the Warforge turns and walks away. Back to where it was going before. Oh no, sorry. Fuck! And, no! <laughs> and everyone died. Um, Maya's crushed by a giant. And Ark says, follow the bot. Do you wish to follow the other Warforged? No. No? What about you three? We, 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 we must. Uh, we must talk. We must. I am showing you. I am showing you. All right, and then then we shall discuss because this is. I I I, I believe you will be. <clears throat> yes. I, I just let you know. I I'm going to yell out loud now. <laughs> D, come with us. You'll you'll have answers. I please. I'm asking you to follow me. Islands. And okay. I will start going towards where the Warforged is leading us. Sweet. The three of you follow the Warforged with Ark close behind. Their, their demeanor isn't threatening, their body language. They're not armed with a club. There is any club there, but cool. still watching, keeping a, a careful eye. And you've, you've heard these conversations between, though they do know you speak giant now. Coming around, you descend deep into a, a cave, a, a ravine. Um, and... Uh, just for the angles you, you currently have, what you do find, sort of implanted sideways. Oh, no, we need those. We're going to need those. Yes. You find the excellent. legs of the Titan, still intact, but in a solid, thick sheet of ice. Oh, dear, 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 dear. And dear. the bin you notice now, there's little chippings, little springs, little collections. And as the other large Warforge comes in, it climbs up and it starts chipping and hacking away at the little bit of the Warforged that is extruding from the wall, pulling it apart piece by piece, crudely, with a large mallet and chisel and hammer, into the bin, tipping under the ice, revealing bit by bit by bit. Ark walks up behind, we have been here many moons, pulling it apart, we cannot get through. This is ice from an old ancient frost dragon, long dead, long dead. But we intend to retake this and Rebuild. So you're taking the legs out bit by bit, and then you're going to rebuild them elsewhere? We have done the entire process like this, yes. Wow. You can inspect our handiwork. I pride myself. The arm is nearing completion. That's It'll be better than it was when it started, and, and a monument to our great artistry. That's incredible. Thank you. I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm very impressed. Thank you. Uh, D22, if you're here, this is really cool, and maybe they could help you upgrade some of your stuff? And maybe you should stop being invisible now, please. It's There's a point where it becomes rude. Meanwhile, Trisha is staying by the bust. What is D22 doing? They're watching on more this way. 
I'm going to cast jump and try to jump onto the top of the. Cool. <laughs> on top of my man here. Go for it. If that's all right. So I do that. I can jump three times as high. Great. Do How long does part of that trace last? That's a great question. Up to an hour. Cool. Carry on. Um, do I have to roll anything now? Am I on top of the head? Uh, make an athletics check with advantage for me, please. Oh, acrobatics check, sorry. It would immediately make him visible as well. That is true. Advantage that is, is 16. Mm. Okay, so you cast the spell and you launch yourself into the air. You do get up without issue, but as you land, you realize you are now visible, and now I need a stealth check with disadvantage. <laughs> do I get my plus 10 still? You still do. You just still do. That's a nice pair of 11s, so, so we got plus 17, 18, 28 still. Cool. You still manage to deftly land like a cat, all four outs. Manage to find yourself, but you land on top of the Titan's piece. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Can I, um... The stone giant has their back turned to you at this point. I want to try to, um... Have you let me do any kind of lock picking or... or Fireworking. I want to try to get into. I want to try and get my way into the head, into the head cavity. Okay. If that's possible, I want to break my way into the head. We can, but we're going to come back to that. What are the three of you doing? You're you're watching as as Ark is explaining the process and the time they've taken, pulling it apart, melting the ice away, chipping away bit by bit, trying to rebuild the bot. Alexi is getting progressively concerned that D twenty two did not in fact follow. I'm. What what made you want to come and work on this? We strive to create art to be enjoyed for millennia. And what could be longer lasting than a weapon made for war, untouched by some gesturing at you? So that could instead just be a monument to peace that will be here, ever watching, ever lasting. I can think of no greater legacy for me and my beloved. Uh, 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 sorry, I did, that that's... If you don't mind me, that, that's remarkably beautiful. We think so. But I would ask, what is your purpose here? Well, and where is your other friend? Honestly, I don't know where he is. I, Originally, our purpose was to come here. Uh, Professor Zask wanted to get the Titan working, and we wanted to use it to destroy a very evil dwarf called Sarek Cave Fury over on that peak over there. So violence for violence. And his, his, his face screws up at the... Um, but I think it is better served with you. I, I have, um, I am actually a, a, a professor of uh, history. I've done a lot of research into, um, into these uh, incredible uh, creatures, these, these people I find myself with are a, a, a little violent focused uh, for, for some reason. However, <laughs> yes, my research is uh, far more interesting. Uh, I believe um, that I have discovered a way to uh, to breathe life back into this majestic uh, creature, to recreate uh, this incredible craftsmanship that has been, has been long since lost uh, and restore uh, this 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 being to uh, something like its former glory. Uh, it it shall be uh, uh, the achievement of the century. Uh, uh, and your work here is most uh, most helpful. Uh, uh, putting it back together, um, re restoring it. Also, I, I see your your appreciation also for for this creature to 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 be able to see it as it was. Yes, but to what end? To see it once was. This was a tool of war. Oh, uh, originally, but um, uh, I just think of the incredible uh, potential and, and, and power. There's no war. There are no uh, frost uh, frost um, dragons here. Um, uh, many, many uh, more uses than, uh, than yes, yeah, so simply battling dragons. We believe it's one use now. As you said, we are in peace. Why not let it stay up here? As a testament. Doing nothing. It's done nothing for hundreds, if not thousands now. It has. You don't seem to understand the I, I think I perfectly understand of, for you to walk into my home. Creature. Your home! This is where I, I have you claimed this Fast. land. I think what you're doing is, is beautiful. Thank you. I have no right 
to claim ownership over this. I would choose your next words very carefully. I am peaceful, but I will defend what is mine, and I do not like the words coming from your mouth. Now I ask again, where is your other friend? D22, where, where? Mr. D22. Meanwhile. <laughs> so, I just want to be really clear what you're asking here. You want to essentially take a blowtorch, essentially, and try and carve your way into the into the into the the chassis at the top here. Is that what you're requesting to do? <laughs> How many party members can we lose per session? Um, <laughs> yeah. There's no Quiet. upper cap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Um, I need you to make a d20 roll for me, please, and I need you to add your spellcasting modifier. Please define spellcasting modifier. Uh, I need you to please add... Uh, it's plus seven. Plus seven. Uh, plus, yeah. plus four, sorry. Plus yeah, four. you, oh, you, you be your intelligence, your intelligence yeah, modifier, yeah. Which is straight 20? Straight 20. 19. 19 total? Yeah. Okay. You get down on one knee. I'll describe describe what this looks like for me, please. And then I'll tell you what happens next. Yeah, it's it's, it's this one's the same way that lockpick kind of comes with the finger. This one's a thumb. Like almost like an old school zippo comes off the top, boom. And the yellow flame turns into a bright bright blue one. Cool. And cut my way through metal with it, ideally. Okay. The moment you activate it and You concentrate it for a good few seconds, and the metal starts to glow slightly, but it doesn't seem to be melting or cutting away. What you do notice is that you're suddenly right above the Titan as a strong hand picks you up <laughs> yep. from above. <laughs> and the stone giant now holds you completely visible in front of her face and starts yelling at you in a language you don't understand, <laughs> making demands and shaking you all about. Can we hear? You can hear some yelling, yes. I, I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that he didn't follow us here. I, if your friend I guess so. has harmed our work in some capacity, this will not end well for him. Uh, and he immediately turns and leaves and starts walking okay, we're gonna run uh, off Yeah, okay. and Alexi will just the entire time. I, 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 mind of a child, please, bear that in mind. Cool. You, you see Trash holding D22 by the head in one hand, yelling in anger, like, mostly swearing. <laughs> what could you do? How could you do this? Who even are you? What is this piece of scrap I see in front of me? Insulting the appearance and the build of D22. How this arrogance could come in and think they could tamper with this thing she has worked on for so long, sacrificed so much for. The three of you come running out with Ark just in front. I see we have found your friend. Well, it seems so. <sighs> calls out in giant, and Trish explains she caught D22 trying to <laughs> cut open years and years of their work. What was he doing? He was attempting to open up the robot, to disfigure it, to cut it open. Explain yourself. Explain. Explain while you can. May I? D, look at me. What are you doing, D22? To save the awkwardness of it, yeah. It's not, uh, defiantly Just looking. Just dead not, silent? Not, 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 not talking to you. Uh, may, may, may. Quiet. You walk into my home. You Your subterfuge. Home. I. You walk into my home, you defile my work, you insult everything we stand for, for a weapon. You were no better than those you claim to be fighting. Leave now, or leave in pieces. I will take much joy in ruining a work like you. Can D22... You he's understood. Gonna, he's gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can understand this, yeah. Can I, can I, um... Shuffle my like, kind of get myself out of that grip. And you can attempt to make a strength, a strength check. To try yeah, it's, it not, it's not an opposing. I'm not going to take him on. I'm not stupid. No, no, like, no, no. no. Almost, almost like, like, like a naughty kid, 
but an annoyed naughty kid. Sure, make a strength. I want to defiantly just walk away and start and start. So walking. you're still being held up in the air. Yeah. So you can try and make a strength check to break out of the grip, and it will be opposed. But yeah, that's fine. I, I appreciate you're not you're not actively trying to um yeah it engage. Knows, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. As as you're doing this, mine is just going to please D. Natural twenty. <laughs> okay. Please describe how this works. Literally, like when you can't give a kid an ice cream. And you know he's going to be annoyed for a few hours. It's just like it's that thing where you almost get a tap on the shoulder and they do and they do that. <laughs> Wiggles his way out, and um, perhaps he tries to get another grip on him. He says no. His shoulders are low, and he's just <laughs> storming off towards Zask. And you, you can hear D twenty two, and you can hear him just saying uh, to himself, "Zask was right. Zask 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 was right." D twenty two walks past, repeating themselves over and over and over and over. Ark doesn't look at you, but looks at you three. I believe we have nothing else to discuss. You never saw this place. This is going to be a place of peace, and I will not have warmongers coming up here to turn it on them for themselves. Ark. I am not a warmonger. I I, I think you are not helping. uh, What are you? I am an academic. I am a researcher. I am a... uh, person of of vision if i can simply explain to you you have explained the plenty the, the, the goal we of know this. the significance you have no legal claim o- o- over these objects what is legal we are in the mountains this is something we have worked for years on if you think you can improve it in a way we agree with take it from us i i I'm not this is violent. Not... I am not here to fight you. I am here to achieve my life's work. And you don't just get to tell me no. You don't just get to stand there and say, oh, I, I, I've been here first and I say what happened. We are that surrounded by children. up to you. We're, 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 we're surrounded by children. <laughs> Zask. No. You say they have no legal claim. Well, neither do you. I, I At that I'm... point, the people perhaps who would squish you and who have, to be honest... The more noble claim on this. This is not a battle to, 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 to be won by who has the, 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 the bigger club or, or No, it's or a battle of who has the better right and who was here first and who, frankly, has made a better argument. To, to you, to you, to are you to decide that some some static m- monument, this is not how this this creature is supposed to, None to live. Of this is how any of this is supposed to go. Our friend is not supposed to be dead. We're not supposed to be stuck on this fucking mountain. You lost a friend. Uh, Alexi, at this point, has tears on us up. Very recently. And my... My God... did not let me save her. I am sorry for your loss. We have been going for so long now. May we please... We won't approach you or your, your work. Can we please just... Just... Stay somewhere for a night. Please. Make a persuasion check. I'm shit at things. That's a four. <laughs> Perhaps not in your home if you know of somewhere nearby a cave or something that's not inhabited by something already. You may stay in the cave with the rest of the Titan. I doubt there is much you could do there. The one down in the valley? It's close. It's safe. Thank you. That is kinder than we deserve. Thank you. Loss is a hard thing. But it does not excuse the behavior of some. He says, gesturing towards the shrinking dot that is D22. Get out of my sight. I wish you all the best with your work. <clears throat> and then my other heads off after D22. He walks past, not looking at any of you, climbs up, and gets back to work, as does Tresher. Alexi will limp his way after Myla. <laughs> Zask, what are you doing? Zask stays for a while and then slowly follows. <laughs> Ark keeps an eye on you and then watches you walk away.
uh, when we get to the bottom, Alexi will just look at a form of D22 and just call out, you yeah. know, we're, we're going to stay in this cave. D22, you can hear, he's walking down, walking slowly but assuredly, and you can hear, like, out of those, like, old school talk boys, like the pinpricked headphones mm. thing. Like a second-hand recording. And, um... It's like whew, a bit of white noise, white noise. Yeah, you can't fucking, you can't, they, they can't fucking trust that. These stone giants, stone giants are awful. So, like, stone giants are terrible. Never go near it. Never go. And then Zar, you hear a bit of Zask. Oh, your friends, your friends are. I'm going to deliver at some point. I can't be trusted. They're in front of us. Yeah, stone giants, mate. Forget about it. Forget. <laughs> He's walking down, annoyed with himself, and looks back to see if Zask is following. Where so where's the Sorry, splitting I skipped ahead, point? But essentially D twenty two would arrive here. With you three not too far behind. Yeah, okay, we are following. Sure. Him then, yeah, okay, cool. <clears throat> you arrive together. Now, without the size threat, I suppose, of either the other Warforged robot or Ark's tremendous build, you do look and it is this large blue case of ice, and you see the legs go in for hundreds of feet. If any of you would like to make perception checks um, into the glass, you are more than welcome to. Oh, Jesus. 18. Three. Seven. Just waiting for that. <laughs> That's really annoying, sorry. So you need to keep wiggling the mouse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, just send a perception on you. Twelve. Oh, well, never mind. So, Milo, <laughs> you, you, you look past, and probably being the most clear-headed of the others here, you, you look through, and you see a long, still perfectly preserved body of an ancient white dragon, its crystal blue eyes staring back at you with a completely pinprick pupil. And just beyond that, you do see slight hints and sparkles of gold or, or silver in, in the back there, but encased in monumental amounts of ice. And Myla's gonna go over to D, D. I thought, I thought I might, I've already lost, we've already lost Mayway. I, I thought we'd lose you. I did not realise that you were friends with my enemies, so nice to my enemies. If you would love it, rather hang around with stone giants, that's absolutely fine. We're not hanging around with stone giants. And I... Why are they your enemies? It is a long story, one which I would rather not go into right now. If you don't mind, I would like to... And it, it's gonna, investigate the bottom of the, I don't know whether he'll find anything or what he hopes to do. He's just trying, he's trying to distract himself more than anything yeah, else. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I wouldn't even make you roll for that, but you do. You go look and you see chips and bits of metal and spring and coils and you also see what was the large bin left behind and looking inside scrapings of metal and ice from where it had been chipping away. You don't find anything of consequence, but digging through you find teeny tiny bits of this titan which have been picked up and reworked mm -hmm. over and over the years. Mm -hmm. And it's good progress. There may be Halfway through, but even trying the ice, it's hard. And your hand sticks slightly to it. You need to really pull away at it. Myla, before she goes, will be like, I I just, I want you to know we, we really care about you. And I was so worried about you. It's okay. I already understand now what your intentions are. Zask explained everything for me perfectly. Okay. Zask! Myla will sigh and go off and sit by herself. Zask, is there anything we can do? They're wrong. They're wrong, they're, 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 they're wrong. They have to see that they're there. They have to stay here and, until they realise that they're wrong. 
They just they have. I just haven't explained it. I just haven't explained it properly. That's all. I just haven't. They just haven't understood. Uh, probably they're not. They're not smart like you and I. Okay, so you put your relinthium into the Titan, and where we go, and <laughs> I become Titan. We'll bring its soul back. We'll bring its soul back. We're bringing your life back, and they want. They want it to be that. <laughs> they're wrong. Alexi will turn and walk over to the two of them and just stand very close and just watch the conversation openly. Not leaving now, they'll, they'll, they'll see. They'll, they'll, I, I, will, I will explain to them. Can't go back, there's nowhere to go back to. This is it, this is it, this is... This is it, I'm not letting them stop me now. And then he just starts laughing. <laughs> You know, uh, the <laughs> it, I, I, pardon me. I, I, I've, I've realised why I don't like you. I'm not really interested. You're, you're me. I beg your pardon. I've, I, everything you're saying, I've said. I, 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 everything. They, 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 they don't understand. They, you're. You're me. You flatter yourself, Mr. Alexi. Oh, no, I do not. <laughs> but, Professor, they're never going to understand. They're going to understand. I'm going to convince. I just have to explain no, it. No, you're not. You People like you and I don't convince people of anything. <laughs> we annoy them until they get tired of us and walk away. That's not... It's... Go on. It, t- tell me that's not true. Tell me that's not... Ha- ha- <laughs> happened to you before. They will, they will. Not, you know, this, this is different, all right? This is, um... They won't, and I'm very, very sorry that your life's work has come to this, but... <laughs> this can't be it, though, no, because... And I... I heard a, something of what was... The, the the sound you were emitting and you're we're not going to leave you <laughs> I mean look and he points at my she's broken now the I, I, idea that she would just leave you that so you can put her back together no, because people don't get back together like that. We're not going anywhere. We're not abandoning you. And the the giants here aren't your enemies. No, we never talk to a stone giants. Why or not? Or do business with the stone giants. Why not? Stone giants ruined everything I ever had. And would be my life's work to crush them, ideally. That's not these stone giants. My my people exiled me and threw me out. Do you think I want to kill every Karstav? I mean, there's you know at least three that have to die, and that's that's just that. But. What I think you, if you still at all care about my opinion, I think you acknowledge that a lot of people are are, are going to think that you are just a possession, a, a thing, and they will get their use out of you and throw you away. And yes, that happens. It it, it, <laughs> it it happens to all of us. We're not those people. We're, like it or not, your family. And the point about being someone's family is that they're going to tell you when you're being a dick. And they're going to tell you when you're right. So you're not planning on robbing me with the stone giants? No, we're not robbing you, but this titan isn't yours, no more than it's Zask's, no more than it's theirs. No one has a claim. We're up a fucking mountain. What if I really, really, really want it? 
I would like to answer your question with one of my own. I really, really, really want Mayway to be back alive. I had a chance to save her. I really, really wanted it. And my God did not allow it. Did Errolest. Did it bat an eyelid. No one out there cares what you really, really want. I care what you want. Myla cares more more than anyone what you want. Certainly, she absolutely cares more than I do. She's just wired like that. But just because you want a thing doesn't mean it's yours. And that's not the kind of person that you are. Now, you can stay here and ruminate on this rage and let it take over and storm off and find your own way down the mountain when this is over. Or you can... You can help Myla and I. And with that, he just walks off and goes to sit next to Myla. Do you think we can get this up and running? Yes. How? How quickly? I was focused on the, 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 the construction, putting it back together, but that, maybe that doesn't have to come first. Maybe the mechanical is not the core of the issue. When I was first put together, I was just a bunch of inanimate pieces. And look at me now. And all it took was a great spell from a great man, and I became what you see today. You're a person. Perhaps if we enchant energy into the thing, then that thing can break out of the ice, because the ice is no match for strength and magic. You see, Alexi, I think Alexi was right. I don't, I don't claim ownership over this Titan. They can't claim ownership. It's, it's a person. It's like, it's like your friend. Except we can bring them back. And there is currently no one in there at the moment. I am more than some silly plastic arms, or silly bronze plate, or gold trinkets, as pretty as they are. What makes me is the magic inside of me. So put my magic in there, and I'll be that, and it will be mine. I, 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 I have a, a plan for, re, re, for restoring the soul to the body. If it's, if it's a person again, they can't... What are they going to do? They, they, they won't destroy it then, would they? they, 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 they what if it, 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 it won't It would be too to... late because I'll crush them all. Uh, possibly. You might not have legs, um, but ah. still, still. I can punch. Potentially. Can Myla hear what's going on? Yes. Can I ask? Please. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about this in a, diff- a different way. Like... The, 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 the mechanical fixing is entirely independent, isn't it, of using the Rylanthium. The Rylanthium. Um, is there a, a core? Like, is the, you know, the, the head, the brain, the body? The, you, would, you would need to inspect it to find out. But uh, actually, no. Uh, like, the, the place enough. where I think... Make, make a history check. You've studied this enough. Make this it, would it, be... Yeah, make, make, it, make a profession as well. History. Oh dear, sorry. Um, sorry, sorry, one second. Little harp still beats. I'm already proficient, so fourteen. Okay. But the fourteen, you would you would you wouldn't know much about the mechanics, but you would know that the core of it would be in the chassis. And that would be the bit that is currently out of the ice and being worked yeah, on yeah, that yeah. treasure was at. 
As for how to get in there, well, I don't know. Crowbar? Would I need to <laughs> blowtorch? get in there to do what I want to do with the You would the need to physically crystal. access it to achieve Internally. this. Yes, you would. Oh dear. Myla's going to um, just sort of turn around from where she is. She's still sort of sat down, but she's turned around like and is sat on the floor looking at Dean. It's like, you... When we talked about this, you said you wanted you wanted to become a titan. Yes. This titan... I mean, yes. <laughs> this titan already is a person. Was and it will be. Exactly. It's its own person, right? You want to restore its soul. Its soul. Yeah, yeah, yes, that is the kind of craft that I could not uh, uh, create from nothing. We, we so couldn't do that anymore. That's... If you want to become a titan... Yes. No, yes. Then Maybe. it needs to come from you, because otherwise you're just inhabiting the body of someone else. Someone else who has a soul. That would be like going back to Mayway's body and stepping inside it and puppeteering it. It would be like what I do. And you do not wish to be like me, I'm certain. Does it last forever? What Alexi does? No. no. What you would Seconds. do? I don't know, but I don't think it would be you anymore. I, I don't know if when you got inside, whether it would just use your uh, your soul to power its own, and you'd be gone, and we'd never get you back. We, we, we can ask it. These are all questions for the future. These, these are my new shadies. Oh, yes, hello, Mr. Present. Titan. Lovely to meet you. Uh, we, 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 we brought you back to life. Uh, do you mind if we uh, overwrite your soul with uh, no, another no, one? No, exactly like that. Uh, right, yes, I, exactly like we, that, maybe. We, we will have uh, the, the, the technology that ha has been lost, but if anyone were to know, it would be an ancient titan, surely. Dee, if we promise you that we'll find a way to make you your own enormous warforged that is just you but huge, will you leave this one alone? We've gone to the ends of the earth for what Mayway wanted to pursue, and hopefully that tells you we'd do the same for you? I think that by suggesting this option, you are proving yourself to be friends with the Stone Giants, and you can either choose to be with me or be with the Stone Giants. If you are scared of Stone Giants and you're not me to wish my, to achieve my goals, then you're welcome to be friends with them. And I'll be annoyed for a temporary period of time. Yes, it will be a remarkably temporary period of time because they will kill you. So be it. If they kill me, that's fine. And he just does a, does a very childish shrug. It's the times like this that I really, I'm so glad I don't drink oil. Sun sets and it is getting quite dark. The hammering slows and then stops. And all the noise from outside of what you could only assume was the stone giants working ceases as they appear to finish for the night. What D would you like to do? Sorry. D, I'll, I'll, I'm, you're my friend. Yes. And I'll always, I'll always be there for you. But I can't, I can't, help my friend destroy themselves. I can't do that. So I'll be here. If you want to do things, I'll sit here. I'll wait here for decades as you do whatever it is you need to do, but I can't help you. D22 um, kind of like angrily walks past, like fine, walks past, but as he does, his hand kind of strokes her hair understandingly, friend like, with a tiny bit of affection still, but he huffs and he moving, carries on. Cool. Are you leaving the, the cave? 
Uh, Zask, do we need, we need the body, you say? We try with the body. I believe they have gone to sleep now. This is the best time to strike. And in case you are not aware, I am very stealthy and very healthy. Or, slash, reasonably healthy. <sighs> we should wait a little longer. They'll have no doubt set up some sort of uh, uh, guard to, to uh, try and protect their, their artwork. Mm-hmm. We'll, we, we shall wait, uh, and, then, and then we shall go and investigate it. And we have our purpose, and we know our purpose is justified. And if they, if they, if they resort to violence, that... I'm taking a relatively large risk on this occasion. What I would ask for you is my... I swore an oath very recently, actually maybe two weeks ago, that I would never actually speak to or acknowledge a stone giant due to them being scum. So oh, okay. if I am killed or we are caught, right. please may you tell them that we acted alone and that my friends were not involved in this so that they spare their lives. I mean, yes, I mean, yes. No, I, I'm not a liar. Um, I shall, I, I happy, happy to mention that. Um, um, yes, so uh, we'll be fine. Um, no, I, 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 what are you? Not a, not another choice is there. So, so it's what we have to do. We have to do what we have to do. Focus. I said, I said, I said about the focus, didn't I? Single, yes. single-minded. It, it doesn't appear that you are focusing very well. No, no, I'm. Basic I'm, instincts are reading that you are not focusing I'm, fantastically. I'm extremely focused. Okay. Are you? What, what, what is happening with your face? No. Um. Yes. Uh, this is merely uh, biological nonsense, which um. I have learned to ignore over the years. Right. Um, yes, don't, 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 you're, you don't suffer from such okay. Such things. So, first of all, you can all take a short rest at this point. Um, if you would like to, you don't have to. Um, Ale- uh, Alexi, was there anything you wanted to <laughs> oh, ask me? Oh, yeah. Just before we go to the next part, before uh, we wrap up. Alexi <clears throat> will quite... I mean, I, I imagine D22 and Zask and... Myla's hella perceptive anyway. Um, Alexi will move to the mouth of the cave and essentially be like having his watch there. Sure. But he's not watching like what's outside, specifically watching Zask and D22. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Good, Good to know. Okay. Myla, as they go, will send Cyril along to go sit on D22's shoulder. Okay. Zask and D22. You walk out into the cold air above the clouds with moonlight shining down above you. Sorry. The intention is that Yeah, we were going to wait a couple hours. He's and then fully go. just standing in oh, the way in this sorry. kind of... And then no, yeah, you yeah, don't. Yeah, well. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Zask and D22, you both wait for a couple of hours <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, while we do. Oh, Alexi intensely goodness. stares oh. at you. Yep. <laughs> Fully center of the mouth of the cave. I should have a how, small how, nap. how are you doing there, hunger words, buddy? Uh, Don't eat me. Tomorrow. Things get dire, do they? Yeah. Good to know. A couple of hours go by. You two get up. Right. This is light. So, on short rest stuff. No choice, now or never. Right, focus, focus. Are you focused? I'm so focused. Are you stealthy? Um, not particularly. And are you healthy? I, 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 I'm getting on a bit. Uh, in my younger, younger years, uh, I was a bit more uh, you know, physically flexible. Should we say I, 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 my job involves a lot of sitting down and reading books? So this is this is very outside of the of the norm for me. You know, I'm not I'm not really used to all of this uh, climbing and dangers and. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm sure uh, the, the stone giants are reasonable and, and um, we, we, we shall uh, simply simply uh, convince them uh, or, or they shan't notice us. Something, it, uh, this will all work out because you know, they said it wouldn't, but um, they, they always, everyone, underest- everyone underestimates me, you see. Um, you do not want to negotiate with, you, you don't want to negotiate with stone giants yourself. Uh, we, we, we still, we do not negotiate with stone giants. Well, if they, uh, if they, if they, if they, if they wake up. Um, we do not wake them. We are stealthy. We are stealthy, yes. We are stealthy. Yes. Uh, 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 I'm not that, that stealthy. No, it's, 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 can you, can you make us invisible? Yes, absolutely. Okay, that, that's, uh, yes. 
Yes, yeah, I mean, uh, yes, right, yes. How many spell slots do you have? Uh, four total, and I've uh, used two, so that'll be my last if I use them both. Do you have another level two spell slot left? Uh, they are, but they are, my invisible, I believe, is a level one. It's a level two. Is it a level two? It's a level two. I have four level two slots, no? I do not. Okay. At this level? I could be wrong. I'm tri- no, you've only got two. You've got four first levels, two second levels. No more invisible. No more invisible. Sorry, buddy. God damn it, why did I use it earlier? <laughs> Comedic effect. Okay, so just, just for the sake of brevity, I'm not wanting to rush this too much because this is a good moment, yeah. but you took it out. Are you still watching them two hours on? He's not watching. Still watching. Okay. In the way. Yeah. They're standing up. Shut what up. do you do? Uh, Alexi is also going to stand up and just move into the center of the, like, the dead center of the mouth of the cave, uh, look at D22 and just shake his head. D22 is just going to keep going to just walk around. Uh, before Alexi's just get a go and just stand in the way. Like, I I can't let you do this. They will kill you, and you're my friend. So if I have to stop you, I will. Unfortunately, you can choose to join me or go against me. I would never fight you, Alexei, because I love you. But I will not bow down to stone giants ever, and I have a great opportunity ahead of me. D22. You do not have to join me if you don't want to, yes. Maybe, maybe he's right. Maybe, maybe if I don't succeed, you, you need to be alive so that you can, you can, I, 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 I can, can give you my work. You can, you can bring others. You, you can, you can, uh, uh, you can carry on the mission. You don't, you don't, you don't have to be with me right now. Both of you are not leaving the cave. I'm not your friend, Mr. Alexi. You go, girl. I'm not you a girl, D22. I'm a professor. I'm sorry for me. I'm, I'm a former yes, associate no, professor of history of course, the yes. Demijoke Archive. Zask. You go, yeah. Professor Zask. Thank you. Zask. <laughs> they will kill you, and then they will kill us. Not if we ask them nicely, they will. I'll, no, I'll mention not are, to kill you. They're rather done with the talking. Okay, well, maybe you should get on running away then. I don't have the strength to run anymore. I don't want to be responsible for, 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 for your death, of course You're not. You're going I don't, to be. No, I... I you, you You're going to be responsible for my death, we, for his. But like, see, if I tell them that it's Neil not responsible, I say I acted alone and I'll be punished accordingly. D, I want you to think very carefully now. Yes. You know how when I look at a situation, I analyse it and I come up with a, a strategy? Do you really think that they aren't watching They've seen what you've tried to do. They know your attitude toward them. They are the very paragon of defensive right now. If you step out there, they will kill you. What would you estimate my chances of survival to be? Zero percent. It's pretty low. That is not high. Not a maths professor, it's, but I can tell you it's that's, nothing. that's not, it's not high. And I don't have the strength to help you. Not only, I still have fucking claw marks down my back. I haven't eaten in days. And if my options are stand here and do nothing while you die, or raise my sword and stop you by force, even if it ends our friendship, but it keeps you alive, then I'll do it. And Alexei draws his sword. He goes, I don't want to. But if I have to stop you to save your life, then I will. Uh, he turns his uh, hat around slightly. Turns away and just walks back into the room. Sits with his knees up, and his head between his, ne- head between his knees, and uh, lowers his hat up over his eyes, just sulking in the middle of the room. Okay. 
Um, Cyril's still going to sit with you. Zask, what about you? I'm just going to take a sort of like hesitant testing step <laughs> towards Alexi. This won't mean much of anything to you, but I am very hungry. I'm quite, quite peckish myself, actually. It's a good point. We really should, we really should have thought. Zask, in you go. I'm going to go back into the cave. Okay. And lie down. And Alexi will <laughs> stay where he is. Okay. So we're going to take a long rest here. Are you going to rest or are you going to keep watch all night? Oh, I get my invisibility spells if I rest. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the echoes of, do you want to do something stupid? Reverberating around. I was you. hearing that in my head a little bit, yeah. He's going to stay awake. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, Alexi, I'm so sorry. Injured. So injured. <laughs> Unless there's anything else anyone would like to do this evening, we'll get a long rest out of the way. You do not long rest. No. You have a point of exhaustion. God. I have two points of exhaustion now. Um, okay. I was going to say so, Myla's sleep obviously is only four hours. Correct. So after four hours, she's going to get up. Mm -hmm. She's going to see Alexi sitting there. Um. Shoulders are slumped, just kind of staring. Myla's going to walk past him um, and say, I'll try to get you something to eat. And she's going to just like have a little look around the sort of general area and see sure. if she can find any animals. Make Thank a survival you. check. Rolled off a 17. Um, oh, but my survival's great, so it's fine. Um, 15. 15. Okay. You find, on an outcropping, not too far, a uh, sleeping golden eagle. Myla's uh, going to get her short bow. Attack roll advantage. Okay, well, one of them was a natural one, um, <laughs> which is accurate. Um, 14. 14 hits. Won't make you roll damage. The eagle never wakes up. Milo gets it, brings it back. You can have one unit back. <laughs> she wordlessly puts it in front of Alexi. Uh, he will pick it up, turn so his back is uh, facing Milo, and yeah, drain it. Cool. So I one point of exhaustion in the morning. The morning stirs, and things are tense amongst the group. Alexi, make a wisdom saving throw, please. Yep. Oh, good. Natural one. No way. <laughs> Two. The hairs on the back of your neck stand up. You feel like you're being watched. And moments later, you hear a voice inside your head. Interesting. Oh, no, no. How did you survive? Where is the little elf girl now? It's quite a large room you've got there. Maybe I'll come pay you a visit. And that's where we're getting into tonight's episode. <laughs> Matt, I had a response lined up. <laughs> what was your response? The deepest fires of Avernus will look like a fucking holiday when I'm finished with you. I do love how light and fresh this is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Huge happy Halloween. Oh, happy oh. Halloween. Oh, happy Halloween. Happy episode. Halloween. Do I look like Shrek? Uh, yes, so now in the comments. Yes. Let me know. 100%. I'm taking this off. I, I realized how many serious moments I had, and I've just got this on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped seeing it. Like, I, got, I did yeah, as well. So I had no idea. Yeah. I, 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 every time I look, I, lo I lo look at it, and I just look at it, so it's just this arrow head, <laughs> just in the periphery of my vision. Oh, boy. What a time. Anyway. We're going to roll it up there before Shaman is completely broken. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll be back again soon. Take it easy. All that good stuff. I don't know. Have a good one. Kakita. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs>